All right, we need concrete. <clears throat> Ooh, we got a bad connection tonight. Let's shut the phone down. All right, I made a bunch of concrete earlier, and now we need it. Hopefully I don't have to deal with all this. Yeah, train tracks are pretty easy to make, though. A few iron nuggets and some basic machinery, you can automate it pretty quick. Now, I used a create machine to dig this half out after I realized the first half here... Uh, should even I don't think I I don't even know if I want to buy or, or not buy but make make that many deployers I should make it uh, how many would we need one two three twenty five deployers or we could just make as many as we can and then throw up a really easy machine or a piston. Probably a mechanical piston, just push it. I think that'd be easier than laying out, you know, 3,000 blocks. <clears throat> oh, here comes the kitty. She knows. Every night. How many can we really make? Not a lot. We don't have a, we don't have a whole lot of polished whatever. I clicked the wrong one again. Here we go. Okay, we can make 32 of those, which means we can make, technically we can make 25, 25 things if we can get the brass. Which I need to make a little smeltery. I've been procrastinating on it. It's so easy to do too. I just need a little fan. I might even have a fan. No. One thing I don't have... But now I do. I probably should. Oh, where could we hook up this fan? I need a depot. Because I, I think I need this. I'm tired of chasing after coal to smelt stuff up. So if we can. Uh, if we can make this work right. Turn on the fan. Where do I have a speed control? I'm trying to think. Oh, the, the, the cobblestone. Or not cobblestone machine. I have. I've got it on the. Uh. What do we call it? I got my depot. Okay, let's just throw it over there first. <clears throat> I need some sandpaper while I'm at it. Right here, right here. Okay, if we throw the fan on the other side, and then, oh, it's going the wrong way. Oh, we might, we might have to get a gear shift. Or we'll throw it over here. Let's just do a gear shift. I need to get some sandpaper anyways. I think after we finish finish out, well, the factory's never going to be finished, in my opinion. We're going to add to it here and there, plug it in a little bit. But uh, after we're finished with this next factory, the power station to this factory, and get the, everything up and running that I want to, I think I want to put in an actual house here and maybe like a, a big chest storage. I was, I was debating what I want to put here. I know what I'm putting here, but... Like this area might be might be some sort of storage cube or something. We maybe we can make it look uh, somewhat somewhat realistic, not realistic, but futuristic, which is our basic attempt at this area. But what was I here for? Gearbox. No, I wasn't. I wasn't here for a gearbox. It was a gear shift, right? <clears throat> And we can use a lever, I think. While we're here, I love this storage. Actually, this is this storage is up there with uh, refined storage. I really like refined storage. Hate applied energistics. It's the worst. It's so tedious that it makes me not even want to use it. But I mean, it's not a bad mod. But whoops, what's up? Yeah, no, you, you need some attention. 
Okay, the fan's pulling. Bam, perfect. And then I think all we have to do is, uh, I think I can place the depot there and then lava there. We'll see. I'm pretty sure that'll work. We also got a train up here that we're going to be working with later. If we need to take a break, we're going to hop on the train. I'm gonna, I've got a macro set up to just go north. Well, it's actually W, but uh, heading that way. And we're going to start drilling the... We're going to start drilling out this way. We're actually going to drill quite a ways. I think all the way up into here. Well, it's it's going to branch off right here. So here's here's the, the train plan that we got going on. We've got it running south. As far as, as far as south goes, it's going as far as it's ever going to go. We still have to do east and west from spawn. And then obviously branch off to the different bases here and there. And we'll have to make, you know, some little cutouts just in case one train is one automated train uh, doesn't run into the other. So we might make some sort of substations at, at major crossroads, which would probably be spawn where a train can turn off and allow one to pass through. It, I think it works a lot like Factorio. But anyways, we're going to run one all the way out here because I plan on making a spawner there because that is an ocean monument. And then we might turn it south and brush past all three of these. And that'll link back into the east, east-west. So it'll kind of be like an outer ring. I don't know if we want to do an outer ring down into the cold area, though. And then I have no idea what we're doing on the east. I just know we're going to run a straight line out here. We'll probably link up to, to this base. I haven't, they haven't been on in a minute. I mean, not that long, a few days. Then we've got, oh, here's a new person over here. Or no, that's just a new claim. Okay. Oh, yeah, and you're up. Someone's up there. But yeah, that's the plan for trains, at least, at least for now. I mean, we want to look to make the train tracks look pretty decent, too. So we're just running out a basic, you know, throw down the flint. We're using flint as the base for the tracks. My area, probably up to right about here, we're gonna cut the futuristic out and, and make a machine that maybe makes it more woodland. Probably spruce. Spruce, tracks, lights. My area is gonna be concrete and uh, probably sea lanterns, which is why we wanna get out, out to here eventually, so. But today we're gonna work on, on Yeah, why not? We just, uh, but yeah, okay. So that'll be the outer ring. I should maybe make something that branches off from here because we don't want north to stop at my base. It just happened to be perfectly lined up with where we wanted to go and spawn, but it'll probably come out of here. And this will continue east and then maybe... Maybe we'll go north towards, uh, this is a really valuable area. It's very hard to fight in there, but it is a pretty valuable area for totems and other stuff. I was hoping to get. Oh, you're Nighthawk? I gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, you were in here for, for a good while on the stream hanging out, which was nice. But, oh, so you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in this area. Gotcha. I don't know if I shared it with you or somebody else, but that's a potential. That's the only other place I've considered having a base right here. It's kind of no kind of northeast to you, but I've been waiting for Silver to get on, but he hasn't. But yeah, this this train is actually technically this train is. That's up there. It's hop on, but I've got a macro, so it'll make it easy. It'll make it really easy. If, but you just put the train at 50% speed and drive forward. If it runs out of track, you just got to back up and then, then come back in. It's pretty straightforward, I think. 
Actually, I haven't even tested that one. I did the one down here and I built this one different, but what, do I, what was I looking for? Sandpaper. I'm getting caught up in all the all the train systems. I didn't even plan on doing, doing a train originally. There's, it was Zen, Zeno? Yeah, Zeno. Zeno was the one that was talking about trains, having a train system all set up for everybody to travel on. Found a decent spot for a base. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, I don't leave till next Tuesday, so you got time. You got, what? Oh, did I already have sandpaper? Pretty happy the way my base is going, especially if this is something I, ne I never do. I normally go with a lot of spruce, uh, deep slate, so this is a whole different, whole different world for me. Trying to get creative with stuff like this. And I got. I have to put something on the other side, which I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. But my goal tonight is at least get get up the majority of my reactor parts built. I've already got a schematic for it. What am I doing? I think we ran out of sandpaper. Let's grab another. I wonder if it'll even let you drive the train, if that's what you want to do. It, it, it don't matter. I can do it. it. It's really simple. I was kind of banking on that as if I need a break or something while I'm streaming, I can jump in that thing and just take off and I'm still doing something instead of just sitting there AFK. But we got 30 something of the deployers to make right now. Almost one more. So we only really need 25, though. It, it, I'm wondering if we have the brass, though. You know what? I did get distracted. We were planning on making a little furnace while we were at it. So we got lava. This spot, I just like, for some reason, I don't know, I like when there's, because this is a, a lake, and it's all, it looks like trees, but it's actually mountains all around it. It might make a nice little half moon type base or something like that. If nobody takes it, eventually I'll, I might just build something in there like a space space center or something we can launch rockets out of up to the space station. Might be nice for that too, because the trains are going to come right through there. Okay, we need 25 brass hands. I don't know if we got that much brass. I don't even know if we have that much brass stamped. Let's grab, let's grab all the brass we got. Good thing we got a, a partial factory going. The whole point of this this reactor system we're gonna make it's a, it's a boiler. It's really a boiler, but we're utilizing uh, Create New Age. So we're gonna have one of these or a cup, actually four of them built inside way up here, which I've been working on for a good minute now, trying to flatten that out. But yeah, I might even have brass in here. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm just gonna make, let's do half a stack, just to replace what we took. Prepared for once. That's that's first. Actually, we are going to need a lot of brass because I think we got to make... Or no, copper, copper, copper. Copper is what we're going to need a lot of. Okay. Okay, got the tubes. I think I'm going to have to make some casings. We're, gonna t we're 10 short, but I think we'll be all right. <laughs> oh my god. That's real? Oh, like, oh, wait, wait, wait. If, 
if we turned on where is it there's a jump leaper if we have leaper at full 15 we might just jump off into space and never come back <laughs> if you have leaper you could literally just fly off the moon I actually have a plan for space too if we ever get done with this base that one's down the road but i'm a huge fan of star wars and no i'm not going to build a space a destroyer or a, or the death star i'm going to build my favorite ship it's not the millennium falcon but i am going to build one of my favorite ships in space if we get there or at least a, a version of it i think or my own rendition of it which would be fun okay so we need what do we need deployers kind of multitasking we're doing two different things at once okay, and a site alloys and some logs two only got two This is another one that I want to automate, but I think I need. Can you make strip? Let me look at strip dogs. I know you can do it with immersive engineering, but is there another way? Maybe a deployer with an axe in its hand? It can. Okay. Hmm. That might be a way to go too, instead of having to make an entire sawmill. Because if you, I think it's if you take the blade out of the sawmill or you never put it in, it'll strip the wood versus cutting it. How many do we need? About half a stack. Deployer might be the easier option, honestly. I'm trying to avoid everybody's bases too. Normally I kind of peek in here and there, like walk around, check what everybody's doing, seeing where they're at. Uh -oh. The sky rail wasn't there. Yeah. That actually came in yesterday with a single machine or not yesterday. Was it yesterday? I guess it was partially yesterday and, and the stream before that. I don't even think I don't even think we have enough energy to even manage this thing. Okay, we only had 15 brass hands. I don't think a water wheel is going to do it, but we'll try. We'll see how many we'll see how many of these a water wheel can do, and we also need something else, don't we? Oh, I don't need a water wheel. I don't wait, wait. One water wheel, a bucket, right? I don't need to worry about the mechanical energy if I use them. No pavers. I'm using uh, blocks of flint. So the instead of wasting the flint that comes off of the iron farm, I've been converting it into blocks automatically inside the inside here. I don't know if you've seen that or not yet, but I need a water. I'm drinking coffee. There we go. But yeah, uh, we got an iron farm in there. It's not fast yet because we can't can't produce the power to even run it at full capacity, which I don't even want to do because server issues. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's see if we can get this little smeltery going. I guess I should bring some over, something over to smelt too while we're at it. Copper. I've been crushing all this copper down inside the crushers to double it or triple it, whatever it does, and I have not been able to have any way to effectively smelt it, so hopefully this does the trick. We might automate it or do a line later on. 
maybe a line with like a a chest set up for each ore down down there maybe or something you know something like that okay Ooh, we got that food stolen can we not put this in the depot oh there it goes i'm not sure if this is working i guess we'll give it a second See how fast this can actually smell. I'm going to guess not that fast. Not with a single fan with, with one lava block on an entire stack. I'm just wondering if the stack... Uh, okay, it does look like the... It looks like the lava is, is, bling blown, bleh, is being blown over there. I finally made another Gauza. I think I gave it to you, or was it silver? I don't know. So I gave I gave a few things away. To, oh, okay. That's not bad. For a whole stack, that's not bad. We just got to figure out a way to kind of semi-automate that. Oh, you need love. Or do you need food? A free lectern, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, come on. Let's go feed you real quick. All right, let's go. How would I do that? I guess I could do a list filter. If I've got a funnel, I'll do it. Oh, yes. Brass funnel. Brass funnel with a list filter, and we can just throw whatever ores in there we want. I'm going to do copper in this one. Okay, wait, wait. Copper. And let's look at... Let's look at our crushed ores. We got copper, iron. I mean, maybe gold. I put in gold there. Gold and piece of iron. And then I think I can just throw a. I think I can just throw in a thing, right? Or throw a hopper on top of that with the crushed ores should work. I could use a chute, but I'm going to use a hopper. If you do want to help with the rails, see if you can hop in this machine. I know it's a good ways away. You could even make rails. I don't know. That's another option. But if you are capable of getting here, because it is a long walk, could even give you a horse. Maybe this one. I don't know. Actually, there's no horses around. I forgot I, I lost a horse. But uh, if you can drive that, that might be pretty helpful if you want. It's no big deal if you don't, if you don't want to. Like I said, eventually I'm probably going to do it tonight at some point. I'm hoping that that machine works as well as it did over here, which actually I, ha I made two separate machines now that I think about it. Last night, or the night before last, I made a machine that digs through hills and then another one that followed behind it a little ways back. But I figured out that you can put it all together on one one train. And this thing's all loaded up with uh, flint and tracks, so it should be able to go for a long, long ways. But like I said, I've got a macro, so... Trying to think what else what else could we help with trains? We could if I had the resources, maybe. Just wondering what else could we do? 
There's the East West track too, which this is does the specific mission one. You can't like drive it on track. That's already in place because it will break it because it's got the drills in the front. It'll just wreck it. It'll tear it all up. So, so forward only and then disassemble. And once you're at your destination or, or pick it up and turn it somehow with a wrench. But anyways, let's, let's get this. So if we do this right, wow, that broke really easy. Funnel that there, hopper, and then some crushed, crushed ores we should do the trick. We needed that chest. concrete just for a minute there we go the only reason I'm doing this I'm pretty pretty 80 90 percent sure that you know what we have to make this filter go somewhere once it's once it's in there but maybe I'll just put a shoot down there do another chest, a chute right above it, so when it dumps it out, it'll just put it right into the chest, but I think this should work. Nice little temporary setup. Perfect. Start smelting them. Now we just gotta make sure we don't lose them. Or shoot and almost just double chest it up I really need to make some sophisticated uh, chests I've got enough iron for it but I've been I don't know why I've been procrastinating on it there's no reason is that gonna work oh right we need our wrench wait did I shift click that on there I might be able to get away with just doing that Nice, perfect little setup. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on it. These these, these simple kind of things actually uh, get a lot of views. I don't know why. I guess if you're new to the mod, I mean, I wouldn't. Not even a year ago, I would have been completely clueless how to even remotely set this up properly. So, I guess I can understand that. Smelting it up pretty nice, too. All right, back to our other project. We got to get this this uh, concrete platform laid out so we can do something with it. So in theory, I only need pistons. How do we not have wood? I'm gonna have to recreate our wood farm at some point or uh, trade with somebody for a bunch of logs or something. We only got a f few couple thousand left. Only a couple thousand left. Yeah, only a couple thousand. Go quick. That should be plenty. Quest complete. We're actually getting pretty far into Create's uh, setup here. Look. I've got pretty much everything over here except for the toolbox and the goggles, which goggles will come in handy pretty soon. A couple things down here. Stress thermometers and speedometers. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually... I've done a lot of this because of the trains, but because I haven't done some pre-step... I've crafted that for sure, but apparently it's not registering. Oh, maybe you need a certain amount of them. C 
crafty extendo grip. I thought that was a gun for a second there. And we've obviously got crushing wheels, so most of that's going to unlock once we do that, that one step. Oh, there you are. Time, time to take them down. Yeah, let's go check out the train. There's probably a, bit of, a little bit of stream lag, but... Just a little place. That's what we're working on right now. We got to fill this in with concrete, and I don't want to do it by hand. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Oh, that's bro. That's dope. I just noticed that while you're texting in chat, it actually shows up in the world. Like the at least the little text bar. See, I don't know if you'll be even able to drive this, honestly. I have no idea if you'll be able to drive it. Uh how do we get up? There. Yeah. So you just come up here, sit in the chair, and then click the controls, and then you're gonna scroll wheel down to fifty percent or lower. And then it should drive forward and it should pl place down the tracks behind you automatically. But yeah, all the chests are filled up. So we're all set. Kind of just click and then click that. Scroll wheel your thing down to like half and then just push forward. Can't use it in my claim. We'll drive it forward a little bit, see what happens. Oh, I missed a I missed a a drill, but it's okay. We'll fix it later. Maybe I should go down to twenty five percent. This is kinda fast. Like, yeah, right, right, right here. Are we out of my claim? No, not yet. We've got a little ways to go, but I'm I'm nervous about running it too fast. Oh, I don't have any. It'll start picking up the cobblestone and stuff on its own once we use up enough tracks and, and flint. Got so much. Okay, let's speed her up. I think I think while we're drilling, 50% is fine. But when you go up to like, you're in the free wide open air, it's going to speed up pretty quick there's no blocks there to like slow you down or anything and chunk loading might get a little wacky i found that chunk loading from exploration is probably 90 percent of crashes because the server actually it lags behind and then after it lags for so many ticks it decides that hey i need to restart That's a sweet cave. I don't think I've been in there. Nice. All right, I think I think it'll it's all yours. Is it placing down right? Yeah. Oh no, it's not. It's not placing down right, but it's okay. I didn't I I made the train wrong. But it's okay. We don't have to have it straight on one Y level the entire time. Oh man. Should I should we fix it? Should we fix it? Ooh, it's getting it's getting laggy. Probably because when you when you push away from my factory, yeah, 
I put these down too low. I put down the flint too low, so the deployers need to be raised up, and you can only do it during a train station. That's the only way to fix it. The tracks are being placed in the right spot, but the actual, the flint is down, the deployers for the flint are down one block too many. And the only way to fix it is to drive it backwards all the way back into the, the train station. Got to clear my inventory. We probably should just because, and then we can add in, I can get glue and, and glue in that last, uh, that last drill that's messed up. So I'm going to grab the glue. If you could, maybe if it'll let you drive the train back, just backwards. If not, I'll come in and get it in a minute. Minor fixes. I think I was kind of, I was kind of accepting or not accepting. I was expecting it to have something going on with it. Okay, we get our glue. And then we just need to move a couple things. I like these little smoke clouds that come out of our stacks here. Even though that's storage. Oh, and if you're driving backwards, if you are, uh, if you press spacebar, it'll it'll automatically drive it right into the station once you get close. Or is it not letting you drive because you're in the claim? That'd be interesting. That's interesting. So I'm wondering, personal trains aren't going to be able to go through claims. I'm getting getting massive lag spikes. I think it's because all the items down. It is. It's, we're we're at like this little peak part of where. Are you getting? I hope you're not getting damaged. <laughs> we're at a part where, like, it's at the edge of my cobblestone machine being on. So when you try to load the chunks, it like lags out for that little tiny second when it's trying to in there okay good we're back we just dis disassemble now our deployers down here are too low we found out so just got to raise them up one block and then we have to make sure they're what is up buddy Yeah, I'm thinking maybe the maybe these tracks might only be used for travel. And if you want a train system on your own, it's going to be your own closed loop that doesn't use the the travel tracks. So these were down right here. We need to put them up here, but we also need to put them in a way that we can access the filters. And those do the tracks, okay. So, how can we access the filters? It's going to be peculiar because these are right next to it and it's going to want to it's going to want to go a certain way. Put this back. See, I'm hoping that I could flip it. So, when I place it like that, this filter, well, I guess, you know what? It'll be okay because what we'll do is filter it. Next one. Oh, it's facing up. Struggle boss. There we go. Filter. And then the next one. Ooh, you suck. Okay, let's try right here. I'm gonna have to be very careful about the filters. Accidentally accidentally messing up here.
All right, I think are we all glued up? Okay, we're glued up. Let's get rid of that to make sure it doesn't mess with anything. Those are good. Let me get up here. There's one of these we forgot to glue right here. And then I got to look at the, the shape of the tunnel here because. Okay, these are going to get broken out. That's fine. Then it's going to place the flint below them, but I feel like we need to knock this down one more layer. So I think I might put one right here. Right there and there on each side. Yeah, I need a drill. Then we'll be set. And then hopefully those are the only bugs we had with it, which is it's not too bad. Those weren't those weren't horrible. I'll just drive it out when it's ready and we'll get going. Then we can check out some insane progress in a little bit. Because once it once it does get going, you get like a flow going. So I, I could literally drive it forever. What do we need? Let's just bring over this back of drills we made earlier. I actually made these drills for, for that over there. I used them all too. Big area to clean out. But What I'm hoping is that we're going to have an automated train system that will come to my place, maybe stop for a minute or so, take off go to the next person's place or the next local area and then continue to do so. So, and there might be multiple trains doing that just so you're not waiting for that single train to come by all the time. Okay. I did one there. Is that going to be enough? Okay. We'll have uh, concrete here. Then it's going to go up to concrete and then around. I think I made this tunnel a lot bigger than the last one too. So we might have to run this train through that other tunnel I've got over there. So if you run out of track, it's just going to stop the train. Nothing, it won't like blow up or nothing like that. It'll just be dead stop. And that's where you'll you just basically end. But for you, there's four double chests worth of tracks that I've made today. So you're not going to run out. I mean... You could do the math on that. 64 blocks times four chests. It's literally thousands of blocks. Because I had that issue when I was doing the south. I ran out of blocks and had to walk all the way back because I didn't want the train to destroy my destroy everything we had made. All right, I think it's good to go. I just got to drive it out of the chunks, right? Lower down with the scroll wheel. Before we get too far, I want to hop out of here. Make sure it's actually placing down our flint. Yeah, perfect. Okay, way better. It's got the base of the of the thing in there. I didn't expect it not to be able to interact with create trains. There there probably is a config file and or something in there. I'll have to dig into at one point. See if we can turn up something in there, you know? I still like this cave that we came up to. It might be cool to light it up so when you're passing by in the in the passenger train, you can kind of check it out and you gotta have stuff along the tracks along the way to, to look at while you're hanging out. Yeah, I've never even tapped into this cave, so it's probably not in the cave system that the the end portal's in. Oh, here we go. See, so, yeah, that's what it is. When when we get slots left over in the chest, when we run out of flint, or I have a feeling you'll run out of flint long before you run out of. Uh, track because the flint's dropping three per per thing but the track is only doing one but yeah it's all yours i've never actually been over here 
we'll have to make some sort of fancy tunnel tunnel uh, maker ooh by the looks of it you'd be chopping through quite a bit of mountain for a good amount of time until you probably break out all the way to the area that I don't even see you'll even be able to check out the base location if you make it that far yeah that place that's my that was my other potential base that I turned down for this place because I like the mountains here better but that is pretty sweet I never actually get to see it from the outside Hell yeah. That's dope. Got a nice cushy chair too. I made sure we had a chair here. We didn't want no we didn't want no uh little little cushion pad. Get that tree. Come along for a minute. Just just to, just to knock out some trees here and there. Create so amazing. It's ridiculous. I can feel the lag here just because it's dropping so many blocks in the area. We're not actually picking them up. That's all right. It's okay. Eventually, we'll use up the blocks on the inside of that, and it'll it'll start filling up the chest slots with whatever whatever con not concrete, but whatever we got. Woo! Look at all those entities. We we might want to move on. We want to let the this area. Uh, despawn or something it's a cave yeah but very very cool that's so sweet i appreciate you uh taking a ride on my my experimental train track layer slash digger i'm gonna have to go down in here at some point looks like we got a really really good cave over here But yeah, anybody who wants to join the server, you're more than welcome to, for sure. Ooh, this is that lag point I was talking about. When you're moving towards my base, it has that little bit of lag that you hit on this side and on the other track over there. And it's it's just loading up the iron farm, which I'd really like to get it cranking out one day. So if, if we get this thing cranking like crazy, crazy good, we can fill out the chests and then it'll shut itself off. So we don't have to run it all the time like we are right now. Which we're running it at a slow speed because we don't we can't power it. We just can't. You might even get an achievement if well, no, I, I take that back. You get the achievement if you're driving a train and you hit a mob. But in this case, you're laying the tracks, so you're not you might not be going fast enough or have anything spawn in front of you. But you could probably get that achievement by riding the riding the regular train. Okay. So back to what we were doing. What were we doing? Uh, <laughs> uh, deployers. I just put them away too. What I was saying is we might not actually even need... We might not actually need a big power source because the the power ratios when you're moving a contraption, like the, like the train, you don't need to power the drills, but they still spin, right? And the same thing goes for these sticky mechanical pistons. If you were just powering 15 deployers on their own, they would be kind of whacked out, and it would take a lot of a lot of energy. But because it's connected to a piston, it might just walk on by without having to do anything crazy. Need one bucket, one bucket of water. Really might be time for a storage center. I just keep building up on these chests. Just want to check on this. If it's if it's as fast as I think it is, and it is, it's already done a few quite a few stacks now. Yeah, well worth well worth uh this little setup for sure. I'm excited to get to the, what we really want to do here tonight, which is this reactor. I spent forever, and it might not even be the greatest design ever, but I spent forever last night 
trying to get this thing to work properly and how I wanted it to. So if we put, I don't mind if I have to place a couple right, right here, that's fine. I'll do that while this thing runs, but if we just throw this here, bam. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Wait, can I go further? Yeah. I'm kind of expecting a tiny bit of lag just because of the items that are running through, but it's all right. It's perfect. Look, look on our map. We can already see, I mean, I'm sure you're out here by now, but it hasn't updated because we're not close enough, but heck yeah, that's, that's so sweet. There's so much you can do with create. It's unreal. It makes, makes a lot of those really lengthy tasks. I just realized I want it over here. So we're not placing blocks down here, but so let's do that. What's the point of moving it now? Ooh, okay. I hate that's one thing I hate. I don't want I always want the filters facing outward. So what if I do that? No. I always want the filters facing out and it never does it for me. That's not what I want. There we go. That's not what I want. None of this is what I want. Anybody know a way? I mean, does the wrench really work like that, or does it just flop its direction? I've got I got an idea. I know how to force it. I know how to force its its uh, orientation because it always wants to connect to an energy source if it's near it. So if I if I connect up uh, I think the side down. If, if I connect a shaft up, I'm hoping that it'll orientate the deployers the right way. Starting to learn little quirks to create and getting things to work the way you want. But I should just grab the wrench just because I should have it on me. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, I guess we could lose some concrete. I think you can make, actually, I was just thinking back, you can make friends with the crows. I'm pretty sure maybe you get the Alex's mob book at some point. I think if you, uh, they work a lot like the LA. LA, LA, LA. All right, that's what I'm, th my theory is. If we place this here, maybe the deployer will not face the right way. Okay, let's try again. We want this thing facing down. Wonder if we do it this from the top. Would be easier. Possibly. There we go. And now at this point, once you get the first one lined up, see it always wants to to line that shaft up with with that. So if you ever have that issue, you can just kind of throw throw down a shaft if you want all the uh, deployers to face a certain way. I really like this addition. Before you had to sit there and Try to orient to each one. Now it has that little, you know, thing. Which is pretty awesome, actually. What do we need from here? Do, do you know? Kind of wish my building wasn't there. It's not going to reach, is it? What? I was dead on. I think I think we're on to something here. Probably wrong, but like that and there. And then here. Ooh, I didn't glue it. I didn't glue it. Go back. Go back to your home. 
Oh, did I put the glue away? I did. After I was done with it on the train. Dang it. This is where those wireless wireless connectors really work out. Here's my factory. Here's my makeshift factory power until we get this thing, this platform laid out and get our, our reactor going. I keep talking about it, but we got a ways. We got a little ways. We're gonna use the schematic cannon to put it together. I built this thing in in a creative world. And I'm really hoping it it turns out the way it did in that world. Because if not, we might have to modify it a little bit for lava, lava power instead of using uh, nuclear power or thorium power, basically, which is nuclear power. This thing's going to be insane. It really is. Because we're not just building one, we're building four of them eventually. Eventually. We have to get this thing fully, fully powered out before we're, we'll have the resources capable of even doing this but okay so picture this i didn't i didn't reveal it at first because i wasn't sure if i could pull it off but we're gonna have four reactors right four boilers that are uh, producing stress units that get turned into electricity over here that'll make it easier to transfer energy around but then i kind of want it in like okay it's hard to picture but let's say you have a, a big boiler here and i'm going to build the building around it in like a u-shape right and then the same thing there'll be a boiler here and over on this side and the same thing with a u-shape right and then in the center we might build a circle or a big square or a cube and that thing's going to be rotating and some other things rotating around it it'll almost be like a minecraft dyson sphere that's the theory that that's what we're we're picturing we'll see how how it really goes because pulling that off is going to be crazy difficult. I might even have to use some of my flight orbs that I've got. But it sounds cool. I don't know how long that's going to take. Look how long it took just to just to mess that up. I didn't glue the... Go back, go back. I didn't glue, the, I didn't glue it in. Yep, here we are. Just uh, not working. Did I put them too low? Put, I put them. I put them too low. I put them too low. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a Minecraft Dyson sphere. That's it's basically what it is. I know. I know. I know what you're thinking. He's crazy. Totally messed this up. I had all this. So it's got to go. It's got to go up one block. It's trying to place it. Hey, it did work. It did work. It wasn't a complete failure. It filled in this one gap, or maybe I did that. Okay. Let's break it apart. Stupid. Need to go up one block with it. Nobody warned me. Everybody in chat is just hanging out like, hey, yeah, yeah, that looks good. It was great. Not one person said, hey, move them up. See, you all got my back. Hey, bam. Let's do, let's try to do this a little quicker. Now that we kind of know. Kind of know how to put it the wrong way. Why? What am I doing wrong here? Oh, I'm shift clicking. The the wrench will flip them. I kind of thought so, but for some reason I don't like I don't like to rely on the wrench. I don't know why. Uh, what do we do here? I guess we break you. 
I do need to put those chests back. Inventory management. Jeez. There. Oh, oh, we can pick chests up. I did not know that. I knew we could pick up mobs. Did not know we could pick up... Can we pick up a spawner like that? Actually, you can move spawners with create, too. I just realized that. You can you can attach a spawner to a minecart or, or even a train. Assemble the train, and it'll take it with it. And when the train stops, I think, or when you disassemble it, it reactivates the spawner. Which is kind of cool. I guess these two blocks are coming along for the ride. So is this dirt. Does everything look good now? We have it glued. I hope it doesn't snatch one of these blocks out. You know what? It doesn't look good. Forgot one important, very important aspect. Have the water flowing the right way. What? I don't know what I just clicked, but hey. Hopefully it did something right. Okay, that's money. That is so perfect. It's slow, I I know. But let's go get some more concrete. We can just we can just place in a few a few rows. It's not a big deal. And then we gotta make a schematic. I'm excited to see the build contest, honestly, because you have the rest of this week, all of next week, until Wednesday. On the 9th or whenever that is. We got one more slot open on the server too right now. There's four, four is the limit. Yikes. Our concrete, our concrete stores are looking a little slim. Got any down here? Perfect. That should be enough, I think. I have, n I, st I still don't know what I'm going to put out here. My base or my house, like house, storage, enchanting. Uh, this is going to be our enchantment factory area, or at least where we go to enchant automatically. So I'm wondering, what do I put in front of the factory? I don't want grass. I can't leave it as grass all this time. And we're probably going to decorate this wall in some sort of high tech, you know, like a Tron, maybe a little Tron type thing with some light blue, maybe. Can't break this up too. This is a flat wall. We're probably going to actually make some sort of like breaker grid right here you, with immersive engineering. Is it already done? It's already done. Can I add more? Oh, flooded the tracks. Oh, I don't have a sponge. Can you keep going? I didn't even think about that. Maybe if I stop this, we might be able to add more. Good to know. Where's our wall? Two. Oh, nice. That that's super fast. Actually, this is a pretty big area. Maybe we should. <laughs> Maybe. We, all right. I'll fill in this square. Or you know what? Better off. Let's stop doing that. Let's let this thing do its its job. We, it'll take forever for us to fill that in especially this whole stretch. So we'll finish off that and then bring the deployers over. But I have another spot I got to fill in with some other stuff, so it's okay. Just want to wait for this to do its thing. Stop one more time, and then we can hook it up with, with some more piston extensions. I wonder what the max is. 
There's got to be a max to this, right? Do, do, do. I think I have way too much energy right now. Here we go. Maybe we can even add them. I don't think it'll add them if it's running. Okay. So confirmed. We just got to take the water out. Woo. Almost thought I broke it. I reach all oh, that that extra reach charm is coming in clutch I was just gonna fill this whole thing in with uh, concrete not concrete but cobblestone but you know what I think I'll just leave an opening so we know where it is and I'll just light it up down there or fill it in later I'm not gonna do it right now on stream that's that's one of those tasks you can just do in the middle of the week whenever I can't believe you made it out that far already, Knight. That's insane. That's progress right there. That's that's some real progress. I didn't know it was going to be that fast. Probably because I took my time doing it the other day. Because I really didn't know what I was doing. I'm really good at placing blocks, by the way. It's probably why I have machines do it for me. I feel like I place blocks like I play because I, I like tinkering around in creative worlds a lot, especially with tutorials. So I'm breaking things. I'm moving them around constantly. So I just throw things down really fast just to just to throw them in. And that's why I end up building like this in, in survival. It's like, oh, I can just bust it in a millisecond. Oh, wait, I still can. Actually, I can bust things faster than faster than creative, which is insane. Nothing spawns on concrete. That gives me ideas. I think, right? Nothing spawns on concrete? Seems to be the case. Maybe we concrete it out. Obviously not white. We'll change it up, break it up. I think we need some plants, some nature, some trees. Can't be all rigid, a rigid futuristic factory here. last stretch and I think we're we're golden if I had the materials I should make a little yeah so a few minutes ago, you were right here, so that's good. What? We're at 200, basically. Almost 1,000 blocks, not quite. Right here. So you should, you should be into the unknown area pretty soon. Areas I've never even been, which is actually pretty close to where we want to end. You could go all the way out to the monument, but that's up to you. You tell me. If, if you line up with, where are you? Your pastor base. If you lined up with like Fallen Angels claim over here, that's that's a pretty good run. I was thinking about turning it south once we get there, but you actually have to pick the machine up and disassemble it for that. All right. There we go. Let's bring it back. Bring it all back. But I'm, I hope it doesn't push push that out. Might be better off just moving it or letting it. Yeah, let's just break it. I don't want it to push the thing out. I don't know if that put the piston end going backwards is going to force its way through our, our glass over there. Anyone?
anyone that's new to the stream? Probably. Probably. Lurkin's okay. Let's get all that. Oh, I guess mobs do spawn. Bye bye. The night. You caught the heat. There's probably better guns in this one, but I love it. This one, I like the Nixie tube. This is my favorite site. Oh, you just cleared the flood? Got you. I got you. Yeah, what I'd say is probably you can go further. Actually, it's up to you. I don't know how many. I don't, I don't know what resources you got or what you want to do or what you got going on. It's completely up to you. But I could throw a marker out to line up with the. That'll line up with the, the monument. That's probably the absolute maximum, but that's not that's not the the requirement here. I'll have to hook you up with something for for helping out. Okay, I was gonna move this. Let's try the wrench this time. Yeah, okay, it does spin it. I just need to get the right angle here. See if we can place it downward. Oh, that time it worked perfect. Just enough. Ooh, we're past the factory. I can I can make make this one a lot further. You know what? I I done biffed that. Sending the power into the deployers, not the piston. We're going to take this one as far as we can. Because why not? It's perfect. There's probably some like create masters out there. They're like, what the heck is he doing? He's so stupid. But that's okay. I have a feeling... I have a feeling that that BK over here, he's a, he's a create master. And I know for a fact John over here is definitely create. He do, he he does the things with create. I can tell that. Me I am pretty decent. Pretty decent. Still learning some little, some more of the intricacies. Let me let me place down a block, please, or not. There we go. All right. Did I do it at the right height this time? I think so. But we do not have enough concrete. Sad, sad face. Perfect, that's good. Do I need this still? Yes and no, yes and no. That's the answer. So what did we come back for? We came back for concrete, right? We don't have the concrete. Now, mechanism, mechanism all the way up to the reactor. All the way up to the reactor. I do not like the reactors. They're cool and all. I've seen them. They're too blocky. I know I'm playing Minecraft, but they're too blocky for me. They're just big, giant squares. Make the reactor smaller, more efficient. Instead of trying to just make giant 
cubes. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, ooh. Our gravel stores are looking pretty slim. Luckily, our concrete machine is is pretty fast. It, it does a job. We take our we take uh, the hemp, turn it into a bone meal, and then inside this machine, immersive engineering, we've got bone meal being converted into white dye. So all we got to do is throw sand in there. We got a stack of dye. Didn't even realize we had a few stacks in there, but that's all right. We'll probably use it somewhere else. Mechanism isn't even in this pack, but there are reactors. There's a different style reactor, and it, it doesn't make big explosions. It melts down. It'll turn, turn blocks into lava. Let's just fill this boy up. I think you'll like my setup. I would I I would like to think that you might like the setup I got going for this for this uh thing. I didn't even need deployers right here, did I? Yeah, the first two not even needed. Hey, hey, you know what's a good idea? Mm, gluing it together. That's always a good idea. Information, unnamed train carriage has reached the end of its track. Oh, you just got to back up, I think. You might just have to back up a little ways and then go back forward. Or it might be out of tracks, I don't know. No, it, I don't think it ran out of tracks. Had four double chests worth of tracks. It's interesting, it's giving me the, me the message, maybe because I assembled the train. That could be checking out something real quick. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, still alive. All right. All good. All right. Yeah. I mean, I guess with all those blocks laying around the ground, it can get a little bit laggy. I'm trying not to explore too much, but. I could even shut down, could shut down this. There's a bunch of water wheels under here powering it right now. But we do need the iron. I might have the threshold switch turned on a little earlier. Just because, instead of going to a full chest, because that could take like half a day if nobody's here. Okay, what do we need to glue? This, two, we don't need that on the top. And we forgot to set our deployers. See, rookie mistakes. We were trying to get ahead of ourselves or ahead of ourselves and, and let them let it run out before it was even ready. Anything else? Anything. Glued. Chest is glued up. Those are all glued up. That's glued. Sticky piston will automatically attach. Okay. Oh yeah. We just need to put this back. Pretty insane. Look how fast this is going. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha. The chunk loading while you're drilling. Sometimes when it happens, I, that's the those are the sort of things because I'm assuming you haven't explored it and I have not explored it either. This this particular area. So it's going to take a lot longer to load, maybe slow the train down, I don't know. Or or uh, stop the train, let it load up, at least load up on your map. So when your map stops revealing the dark spots right here, the, the fog of war, I say. Once it, once it stops the fog of war, then continue on, I guess. I think that makes sense, right? Yeah, sure. But yeah, I think personally, I don't know, maybe what you guys think either. This train track that's hovering in the sky, I think for now it should 
be exclusively the travel trains. Then maybe... Because then, I don't know. I mean, multiple bases is cool, but that's fine. No big deal. I'm wondering what, what would you run on a track like this, though? I guess you could deliver items to other people's bases. You could have a storage train of your own. The only thing I'm worried about is if we automate the, the travel trains and then, oh, no, I think the, I'd have to, I think BK knows how to do this probably. I've played with Factorio and this resembles Factorio a little bit, but I'm not 100% sure on how, how the breaking up of the tracks and dissections would work. Like, let's say the travel train is on my base. Does the train that you're, you're driving, you're handling, still apply to those those track signals? So, like, if you're driving a train, is it going to stop when another train's about to cross-section you? That part I don't know. I'm assuming no, because you're running a manual. That's kind of why I don't want more than automatic trains on this track, at least. Go wild on your own tracks, though. That's my only my only thing. I don't want to have a bunch of trains crashing into each other, and then we got to walk out and try to fix them, all that kind of thing. You can type here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can see your, your chat in, in game too, but. A bunch of switches set up on the tracks. I was looking at, you know, how you have the little ponder thing going on. I could see that you could break the tracks up into main, in their each sections. But I assume that, you know, okay, because I like to picture things. At my base, uh, we want to have a turnaround, right? We don't want it to just stop here and then drive, have to drive way out here if it's going to be its next base is, you know, Silvers. So we'd probably have inside the mountain some here. I'll do a little turnaround, like boo, right there. And then you would drop a track section to tell it this little area is its own track, that's its own track, and this is its own track. So if there's a train coming up here, because we'll probably have multiple multiple uh, passenger trains, it'll say, hey, this, this section is clear, I can come up, and then maybe there's a train in here that can say, oh, this area is finally cleared because that train moved up here. Move, I can, I can go back onto the main rail. And we'll probably have to have little subsections like a little right here we might have a track that goes out a little bit and there so that if a train's coming south and the train's going north this one north train can kind of pull up in there that's how factorio would work i believe Ooh. guess we didn't make it all the way close sounds like a lot of work <laughs> but that's how i'm picturing it in my head. Putting it to the test, yeah, then now that might be a whole different scenario. We're almost there though. Almost there, and then we can check out our blueprint and you can see at least what I'm trying to do. Okay. So we might be, well, it looks like it's, it's literally breaking through. That's not what I want. So it might be a better idea that uh, the main trunk line, which 
this line right here, we could. it wouldn't be that hard to run a, another train that lays track right next to it. Maybe a gap between it and run a second train track, a return track, return and forward might be a lot easier. And then we'd only have to worry about the cross sections, right? Because we'd have a north-south automatically set up, built right into the track. So it would just be a, making sure they don't crash here, which might make it a lot simpler. And that's very doable. All we got to do is process the materials. And then considering this, this would just be a substation, so we could even bypass it. Could just do a little angled rail running out on the outside of the mountain here into the main track. So double it up right here, north south. And then bam, that'll be its own little clipped off section. So if it doesn't want to stop here, it doesn't have to. Or if it can't stop here. I gotcha. I think I'm catching on. Got a lot more trackling to do before we even get to anywhere near that point. We don't even have a full loop yet. Yeah, that'll probably be easier to have a... It would be centralized, too. So if you have to mess with it, you don't have to run 10,000 blocks beyond the individual stops. Yeah, look at this. It, it forced its way through. All right, on to the next step. This point is, is going to be a lot of crafting, I think. We might even have to do mining. I don't know. Hopefully we have the resources, because it is a lot. I think I can make... I don't want a clipboard. I like the, the book, the create book, so I, I forget how to... I need to make a schematic cannon, actually. I don't even have that. I've got the table to make the, the blueprints. Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Find a large dungeon. Nice. I don't know what that means. All right, time to move the coffee away. It's in front of me, I drink it. And I don't plan on being up that late. Just drilled through a dungeon. <laughs> Not only a dungeon, a large dungeon. Put our new smelter to the test here on cobblestone. Work all day, dinner, 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 dinner. Wonder if that's a German last name. Is it is? I thought so. Let's 
Do not smell. Oh, duh. I'm waiting for it in the chest. I had the filter on there, so it's not going to push it through. I'm like, yeah, hey, any minute now, that cobblestone will be done. It's just sitting there, cooked. I already made it. I already made it. Which I guess everybody has access to this reactor, right? It is in the schematic. Now, access to everything it takes to build it, that's that's a different that's a different deal altogether. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to smelt it again. I'm used to the old school where you could make that, you could craft that stone on its own. Now you gotta smelt it twice. Before you could, couldn't you craft a smooth stone like this? No, that's bricks. Maybe I'm crazy. I swear you used to be able to just craft smooth stone. Oh yeah, the lava might be an issue. You're right. I've not run into lava yet. Hmm. I wonder if you could, you might be able to water bucket or just call it good. I mean, I think you've gone pretty far. It's up to you. Maybe you could water bucket, turn it into obsidian and then break it through it a little at a time. I'm trying to think. I mean, I, I don't, you're probably a pretty good ways out, aren't you? That's the only thing I could think of, really, because we don't have we don't have Tinker's construct, so we don't have the magma, the magma sponge in here. Which I'm glad there's no Tinker's. And for the second time on stream, I am not a fan of Tinker's anymore. I used to love it. I love the leveling of the tools in Tinker's. For some reason, I don't know. Tinker's has lost its touch. Touch with me, with me. Maybe it's just because it was in every pack forever and I, I got bored of it. That could be. Let's grab our stone before we start running around doing parkour. It's not even a bad mod either. It isn't. It just seemed like for the longest time it was like the same mods over and over and over and over and over. Right? You couldn't go with, you couldn't have a pack without, I mean, Create's going to get that way too. Create is in every pack. It's a staple now. It's, it's, how could you have a pack without Create? Unless you're going like full magic or something, but. Okay, we got, we got this. Like industrial foregoing, thermal expansion, those kind of things. Tinker's Construct. You never had a pack without them, and it kind of get old after a while. It really does. I gotta do one thing with this. All right, let's go put it over there. Grab our gunpowder. Figure out where we're gonna even place this thing. Oh, you might have got lucky and went right over it or under it or something. I'm excited to see the track. I should build a little little train. A little personal travel train just to get through here and check out the track or or go to the places where we need to make turns and, and actually move the the train uh track maker make a river. Which is probably gonna be right around here. We'll turn it. Turn it, go south. Might even keep going south. I don't know. Because here's the ancient, or not ancient city, but this is as far south as I got. That's as far south as I'm ever going to go. If anybody else wants to take it further, that's up to you. But this is the only biome in the south that I found so far. I don't know if other people have gone deeper or different places, but this is the only biome where we don't need heat to survive. It even looks like there might be a swamp over here. 
Actually, it is marshy swamp. This is the same thing, taiga. I guess taiga, you might need warmth, windswept forest. All right, yeah, it's there's a little swamp over here, and it goes back to ice though. Frozen river. Yeah. Anyways, what are we doing? We got our schematic cannon. And where'd it go? Did we lose it? Yes, we did. Kitty, you can lay anywhere you like except for on top of the keyboard. Thank you. The shared location from before. Uh, the farthest one is it lines up with uh, an ocean monument. Let's see. Share location in chat. The minimum I tried to go is this this second one, which is right here. So that second one I shared, that's like the minimum I wanted to go. And the maximum I, I was going to go is just lining up with this monument because we can probably build a farm there at some point after we loot it out and then create a guardian farm in there. Because I need sea lanterns. I know I can do them. I know I can craft them, but why not have a mob farm that can do it for us? Yeah, no, maybe, maybe so. Oh, you see something interesting on the screen. You're going to attack it. Get it. Get it. He's trying to cro attack the crosshair. All right, we can start in the corner here. Schematic not positioned. You're right. Okay. Okay, kitty, just for a second. Come here. Come on, Rin. I'll just call her kitty, but... Oh, where do we want to go with this? That's center-ish between these two chunks. Kind of want to lean right in between them. So let's set a temporary waypoint. Just give us an idea. Roughly. We might even have to make this platform bigger. So that's about where we want to be. All right. This is what I was talking about when it might be a little big. So it's, what is it? Alt. We want to move the Y position. Oops. What is it? Control. I'm not so good with this. We want to put that down on the concrete. And then alt again. We want to rotate it. Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You almost knocked over the monitor. Got to be careful here that I don't. Yeah, rotate. Control. Am I centered? I kind of think I need to go. Need to go a different way. Oops, that's not what I want to do. I do have to leave a little bit of space out back here, though. At least. Hey, 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 hey. thing to be on the keyboard but not on top of the mic oh can I just do it like that my position is what makes it change all right let's go there that should give me a little bit of room to build what I want to do on the back here maybe even not enough I might have to go further which is telling me I need a lot more space for this thing I kind of want to go this way I just want to get it right, so because we got to fit another one of these right here. Yeah, that. So you remember what we were talking about? We were we were playing around with this last night, or not last night? Friday, Friday night on stream. This is what I built in a creative world, and I uploaded the schematic. This is what I came up with. I don't know if we're gonna stick with the reactor. It depends on how reliable it is because we might end up switching over to lava. But okay, let's comp this out. Just so I know I'm getting the right thing because 
it's going to make a like a plus sign here. So we need to make sure we have enough room on this side. I know we do on that side. I'll, if not, expand. But I, I still want a gap between between these two buildings. So, but how's it going? How you been today? I think it looks pretty cool. And I I specifically put this in. It's not in here right now, right? But there's a little bit of redstone I do on the top here. So once we get an HV capacitor or a different kind of capacitor, we're going to put a level limiter in it. So when that when that fills up, it's going to kick on this clutch, which uh, basically it's going to cut power to... Where is it? I think it's the top ones. Actually, it cuts power to the bottom one, I th think, or one of the anyways. And it cuts it, and it's perfectly balanced right now to overstress the the boiler. Perfectly balanced to overstress the boiler, which will stop this from spinning. That might be how it works. <laughs> I built it and I let it it won't this one won't over uh overheat either. I let it sit there for 2 hours running with fuel directly into it and it didn't it didn't over overcook it. But I can't wait to get this thing running and actually up here. We need a lot of pieces to it. But I think okay, I was going to count what the hell? Am I crazy? No, the blocks aren't there, are they? Oh, it's just it's still some I didn't know it did that. I swear the when you when you scrolled off of this it would disappear, but maybe not. I need to count the blocks out. Two, three. Eighteen, nineteen, so it's about nineteen, twenty blocks long. And then we're going to put something in the middle here, so I think we'll be good both ways. Nine, that's way more than 19 blocks, and same thing over here. And then, yeah, okay, I think we got the position down for sure. Let's just double check here. The only thing I'm worried about is back here, because we only have one, two, three blocks, and we still got to make that thing I was talking about. But that's going to go around the building, too. Let's go one more out just to be safe. Oops. Went too many. I went too many back. Now what do we got? Five, a good odd number. I think that's okay. Mirror, rotate, position, Y. How do I, how do I confirm? Do I just right click? Or maybe I can put it in here. Hopefully this works. Nice, loaded up. Okay. So, is it a book? Do I put the book here? Now we have the material checklist. Does anybody want a material checklist? Do you plan on building this thing or doing your own thing? I don't know. You're more than welcome to uh, to attempt it. Train Train's not going anymore? Oh. Check the chests. See if you're out of uh, flint. Actually, flint won't matter. What's going on, Cooper? How you doing? Cooper and Lucky plays. Got a friend or or somebody you play it's 1200 or 2000 shots okay i think we'll be all right i'm afraid to even look at our material checklist honestly it's gonna be a lot we should put down some it's probably gonna take two or three chests still tons of both materials hmm. i mean how far along are you share your location if you if you don't mind
2,000, 2,000. Or 2,000, negative 2,000. So you're at... You're like right here-ish. You're not too far off from the monument, which is fine. That's about where, roughly, where we're going to go south. If you can't get it to run, it's it's all right. You could just I don't know, leave it and I'll check it out later, or or we can maybe back up ten fifteen blocks or whatever and and see if because when it runs the track back over, it's gonna pick it up anyways with the drills. So it's not like you're gonna waste any materials or anything. But I'm pretty good. I'm uh trying to get this last bit of factory going, getting my factory fully operational before I leave on vacation, which might prove to be difficult. Okay, let's just get it over with. I'm 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 stalling. I don't even want to look at this. How bad are we? Six pages. Six full pages. Oh, you and your cousin run a channel together? That's pretty sweet. Hell yeah. My uh, nephew, he actually streams on Twitch here and there. He's big on League, and uh, I think it, there's a Marvel card game that he's been playing quite a bit lately. I went to join the stream, or at least do, uh, do a little bit of a lurk view. And uh, he ended the stream as soon as I got in there. He just played one game of League, got the win, got the W, and, and was like, all right, time to get off. No, we know. We know we need some polished andesite, so let's just grab a stack. We only need one. I'll, I'll take them with me. Why not? Because we might have a decent amount of this stuff, actually. Definitely need more fluid tanks. Just trying to peek at what we got. I guess we could run it. Toss it in a chest and run it through. So what do you do? Do you do Minecraft? Do you, uh, what kind of stuff do you play? We're going to need three of those. I know that. Just trying to... Trying to get an idea. Funnels for sure. I think we need smart shoots if we have them. I think we need brass funnels also. Redstone links. No deployers. Okay, let's let's make up the stuff we do know we need. We need the pumps. We need two more pumps for sure. Ooh, we're out of copper plates. All right, let's get that stamping right away for sure. This is our makeshift factory power until we get that monster running up there, so. That's why it's busted through the wall. And then uh, I got this space saved specifically to power that that thing over there. Train go, <laughs> the train's going good again. Gravel placed when the track was laying down to break it. Oh, yeah, a little piece of gravel must have snuck under the train. I guess anything can really happen here. Ting. Wow, so great. Mine, yeah, whatever you're feeling like playing in the day. Gotcha. Lately, I've been obsessed with this pack, but I'll play, I like some RTS games too. Not a lot of people play those anymore. Used to be a big, big, big fan of Red Alert, and then I moved on to Active Aggression, which isn't even developing anymore. It was kind of an early access, and then they ditched it for something else. 
Yeah, rock. Can it really? I thought that was just a myth. I know I've heard pennies. People used to tell you if you put a penny on the railroad track, it's going to derail it. Do it anyways. Squishes it right out. That's rough. Luckily, we've got a really insane fortune pickaxe that's going to help us out. See, we, we just used up all our copper just on the tanks. What if it was true, though? I got a little... Yeah, Minecraft definitely never lies. What if we got a... Uh... Got a little pebble and just threw it on the track and see what happens. But yeah, so... We kind of got to wait for the copper sheets to get going a little better. Maybe I should even throw in more. Oh, so it is a real thing. See, we used to have uh, trains... The train, the town I used to live in, which I don't anymore, they had, uh, it used to be like a, a large train hub for the state. Not anymore, it don't, but it still has, you know, two, three trains that go through a day. And we used to walk the railroad tracks and try to find the spikes and we find coal. I think at one point, some, some where am I going? Somebody told us uh, the coal trains could drop, drop diamonds, so we believe that and We'd look around the rocks, find crystals and stuff. But mostly a lot of train spikes. I might be going overkill here. Is it buffering? Are we getting are we getting some uh drop frames? Oh yeah, we just got hit with some big drop frames. Big boy dropped frames. You know what I found out? Comcast raised our internet bill, and I actually think our internet is worse. I actually think it's worse. Because I never used to get drop frames when I was streaming, and then right around January, it started getting a little wacky. I might even need a new modem. My modem is... Modem and router is probably four or five years old now that could be the thing could be just slowing down on that end tanks were good let's make that pump or pipes we're gonna need pipes too one two so what do you do on roblox i've seen very sparse videos of it. Is it like Minecraft or a little different? Probably a lot different. Probably way different. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what we what we knocked out just based on what we already had. All we got to do is run that book back through and it'll, it'll tell us what we completed. Oh, favorite game is definitely Minecraft. But. What did I just finish? I'm trying to think. I just finished Pokemon Shield a couple months ago. Actually, my second playthrough I, I finished. Uh, I finished the storyline of Hogwarts Legacy, which I really enjoyed. I didn't expect that much content to be in a console game. Because generally console games don't have that many hours of uh, of stuff. But generally Minecraft is the uh, is the the main thing I play, and it's also pretty much the only game I play on the on the channel. <clears throat> I am thinking about starting another channel. I just haven't gotten around to it. I have the content for it. I have all the ideas written down that I want to I want to do. I just haven't gotten around to it. Just back there playing with a piece of paper.
completely completely not even gaming related actually all right we need a boiler or heater oh these that's i think this part is two chests clutch andesite funnels thought i already put andesite funnels in there don't these turn green when you've got it yeah okay so we knocked out a page almost two pages Sea lantern. See the that's something I might have struggled. I might be on the struggle bus to get. We don't have access to that unless I go up to the. I might have to go over to the monument. Actually, the monument that he's he's trying to run the train to might come in handy. Actually, we'll have to make a little a little personal train just to run our way out there. I think it's a long ways. But anyways, let's focus on what we got. We can think about that later. One clutch. Done. I'm hoping we don't have to make a trip to the nether. I know for a fact we need seven of those. Ooh. Have you been inside the sunken city? I'm just curious because was it you? You might be the one that, uh, I haven't really explored over there. I'm sure you can tell from my map, but somebody needed a, a sea lantern and they needed the heart of the sea. And I, th I don't, I, I'm not sure. It might've been, I don't, I don't know. There's, believe it or not, there's like 25 people on the server and sometimes I get things confused. It's hard to keep track. All right. What else have we got? Boiler heater, carbon brushes. The sunken city is insane. And I went, I think if it's the thing I'm thinking of, it's just some big, basically sunken city. And there's a bunch of stuff. No, I haven't had any black, black, that black block. I've not had any block lag, which is, I think it's doing pretty good. Okay, we got the clutch. Easy stuff. Let's look for those easy things. We can work on the others later. Oak chest. I think it's going to ask for a regular chest. So let's see if we can make that. Ooh. Okay, that's cheaper than I thought it was going to be. We need nine boiler heaters. These little guys. So that's going to require pipe. And more crushed popper. Yeah, more crushed pipe. Blah, blah, copper. We're losing our words here. Our English is failing. Oh, uh, yeah. It got set to four because when we started getting five, five plus people running around, tended to have a lot of problems. Could probably boost it up to five instead of ten total but ten people at one point we had six people on the server and it was crashing like crazy because the server couldn't keep up with everybody's machines running all at once so i kind of limited it four and most of the time we that's about as much as we normally have on the server at a single time too so let's grab our plates make sure we get some more going here i think we're gonna need a lot of these for some reason, right around three and four, that's that's like a, a good spot. There's been people on the server who play every day. I haven't even run into them yet, actually, because we're just in different time zones. I do even think we need a few of these pipes. How many? Uh, what am I thinking? 
Okay, let's make our boilers, and then we'll worry about how many pipes we need. We need nine boilers, nine pipes. That's what it is. Oh, I'm out of blaze. I might. I have to go to the nether. I have to go to the nether for this one. I don't have any netherrack. And our portal is not close to us. Right, yeah. Most of the time I'm on after eight or nine. And during the day, if I am on, it's most likely that I'm either AFK or popping in here and there. I like to do all my fishing during the day. I get my EXP up. Which, we're at 78 levels stored and 30 on us. We're doing pretty good on that. So I'll have to wait on our trip to the nether. It does look like we need some iron plates, so I'll have some of those smashed down too. 200 raw iron. Let's get that crushed. Over here lacking on the ore production here. Just so happens, hey, look at that. We've got 10 obsidian. Maybe I should finally make a portal at my base. Probably not, though. A wind watch. Oh, you're going to go? All right. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out for a bit. Uh, appreciate it. And hopefully we see you in here again. And you're more than welcome to join the server. But yep, have a good one. We'll see you next time. Let's get some sleep in so he don't get attacked while he's on his train. What am I thinking? Not a lot. We got our chest, clutch, carbon brushes, boil heaters have to wait, and a site funnel we might be able to do. Next page, heat pipe, we can do, we have to go to nether for that too. I'll be honest, I am awful with decorating the inside. But where I'm trying to avoid going to people's bases. You're right here? Or wait, no. Yeah, is that it? Now I'm drawing a blank. That's not you, that's not you, that's not you, that's not you. You're here, right? Or no. Yeah, that's Pine Quest, you're here. Or is it, there's so many new claims popping up. These two have definitely not, or where is he? Oh, his claim might have disappeared. I think it did. Or is it so clear that I can't see it? It was, you, oh, it's right here. It, it's white, so I couldn't, I couldn't spot it. Oh, yeah, right, right. Why am I? I don't know why I was drawing a blank. Oh, you. <laughs> Nighthawk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. But do you have uh, something else somewhere in here? Because there's right here, there's this claim. Maybe it's not showing up because, anyways, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're, uh. I'm so confused in my chat. Okay, Matt. Matt is Nighthawk. You're, you're, hi, I can't even say the name. Hike. I was getting myself confused. Yeah, I, I get it. I got you. I got you. That is you. That's my bad. But I do like the the island thing you got going on here. Because it's an island mountain, too. And it's super thin. I would say maybe... What can I think of? I'm, I'm The reason I'm not going to bases right now, because I want to see... I've checked them out yesterday. Everybody's base I went to. 
and I may or may not have screenshotted them just so I have like some sort of memory of where they are right now. So when I do come back from vacation and I check them out again, I can see like what changed, if anything changed at all, that kind of thing. The only persons I haven't been to is, is uh, Benjamin or BK. BK is the only one I haven't been to because I think they joined uh, shortly after I got off or logged off earlier today. But I'm sure if you're just joined today, you're not going to have some crazy, amazing base just yet. Four gearboxes, generator coils, heat pipes. <laughs> it's just a bed and chest. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it. it's literally, I'm not leaving till Tuesday next week, right? So you have all this week. All of next week until the Tuesday after. And I'm not even going to get on that day because I don't fly back in until 11 p.m. I don't know about decor for your island, but I would say because you do have a mountain, definitely utilize that up and down, up and down, uh, you know, space. Build up pop out of the mountain here and there make it look like there's some window i don't know like you, i think you kind of kind of get the vibe i'm saying that might be cool i've never built in a mountain trey uh the creator of arcanum which has a vanilla server going on too if you want to join that but uh they uh tend to do mountain bases or specifically cave bases that's his thing and does pretty well at it. What was I doing? Four thirty-seven fluid tanks in case change. Okay. Let's get some of the stuff out. I think it said six of those. Fair enough. At some point, we are gonna have to go mining. Uh, gearbox. Let's grab both of these, but I think we're gonna need verticals. I'll keep four of them and then let's make up a few more just to make verticals. Let's do eight. I think I do I use a lot of verticals. Clutch chest carbon. I got most of that in my inventory. Oh, it even tells us on the side how many more we need, even if it's not completed. Key pipes. We'll have to make a good trip to to the Nether, and then this stuff kind of gets in the into uh, create new age, which is the layered magnets. We have those over there. We need sixty of them. Sixty layered magnets. That might be our hang up tonight. I thought the Nether might be, but that might be our hang up on this. We got to make a bunch of energized uh, gold and, and large half shaft cog wheel. That's the large cog wheel I need. Okay. Smart shoots. Let's see if we can even do these right now. Oh, we need two of them and we got one. Oh, it's just a brass sheet. All right. We're actually making a lot more progress on the on the material list than I thought we would in such a short time. huge claim I mean yeah the only reason mine is as big as it is right now is because do we have brass in here oh we do I'm not gonna waste that brass I think we might need it for stuff but let's let's go check out our list and update it and see how far along we are here because I don't even I might have to go to resurrection space somewhere down there just for another portal because I do not want to make another portal at my base just yet I have my reasons. I want to build a cool portal and I don't want to have to destroy the one in the nether and then come back and do all sorts of weird stuff with it. So 
brushes, boilers. Got that. I think that's everything we had. This should knock off another page at least. How do we do? Not bad. So we got one, two, three, three and one, three and a partial. One more smart shoot shafts I can get easy enough. Rotational speed controllers, two of those. That's okay. Shaft speed controller, smart shoot. Stone torch. So everything after this is just basically is the new age stuff, which it's it's actually cheap, pretty cheap. I thought the recipes would be a lot more complicated than they are, but oh, just got crazy vertical all of a sudden. That was weird. Four shafts. What's a reactor rod take? Ooh, I'm gonna have to do some auto crafting here. Old, it's easy enough. Nuclear fuel, we need to make a machine that makes this anyways. And we need six of these rods. Oh, wow, okay. We might have to bring our energizer inside. Or make another one. That does make four, so we'll only have to do that once. water I spend a lot on create I don't know what they're talking about but yeah I guess you really can do quite a bit for how little you need to do this look at this eroded raw copper block that little break up there I could see that going into a factory building that's that's based on a lot of uh, stone and brick Especially the red bricks. Throw in acacia and some other things and it it breaks it all up. I'm not a big fan of that. That messy look. It does look great though. It does. I shouldn't say I'm not a fan. I can't do it. It always just looks really weird when I do it. It ends up blotchy and not how I want it to look. Maybe I'll try it down the road. But what else do we need? We can't make generator coils, can we? Where did the, oh, I didn't put the two chests in there. Smart shoot, sea lantern, rotational speed controller. That's the other one we wanted. Need. We need 37 fluid tanks. I feel like I added the fluid tanks in there. Yeah, I need I need one sea lantern. I think that's what it says, right? Yeah, I need one sea lantern. And I think that was, I put that in just to uh light it up because bats kept spawning underneath it and and dying from the radiation and landing in the belt and it got annoying. Okay. Let's just line this up to these two chests that goes in there and that goes in there. So everything on this side is, is directly for our book. Need one more gearbox. Generator coil. What did I use this for? Where is it? Oh, duh. Duh. I don't even know how many it said to use. Probably one or two. Five. Five of them. Just enough. Yeah, it definitely has radiation. Because we're feeling we're feeling the bottom, the heating of the uh I'm honestly better off going with lava. It's more stable and 
and renew easily more easily renewable. That's why I considered when I build this, I might go back into the creative world and create a schematic that specifically works with lava instead of nuclear fuel. Because if I use the nuclear fuel, when it, while it's running, it's producing radiation. It has the chance of... Well, this one doesn't have a chance of meltdown. I specifically left it for many hours to test it to see. But yeah. To negate the radiation, you just need leather armor. So it's not that big a deal. If I have to do... If there's for some reason I need to restart the generator or something like that, then I just got to go in with leather armor. Fluid tanks. We need a lot of fluid tanks. I swear I put a bunch in there. Am I wrong? Let's go over there. I'm I'm really sure I did a lot. Big purple guy in the ocean with a halberd? What? Is that a mob? Maybe it's a boss mob. I don't know. Yeah, I've got 35 fluid tanks in here. Is it something wrong? Well, I still didn't have enough. I didn't have a total, so. That makes sense, but let's update our book. Let's update it twice. Make sure. You know what? We didn't put this stuff in. Or this coil. Update it a third time. <laughs> Looks scary. I mean, there's only one way to find out, right? Yeah, so uh, what we have right now, I don't know, were you here when were you here when I was laying it out and you saw those belts running in and out of it? So once uh, the generator reaches a certain point and it's filled up a capacitor with full energy, it shuts off the boiler, but it only shuts off the top half. So the bottom half continues to run and it pumps water into the boiler, so it's it's constantly running, and then on top of that, uh, the nuclear fuel gets pulled out of the the injectors and drops down and runs over to a chest. And it stores it in that chest until we use that forge energy, and then it'll cycle it back into the injectors. So basically, it puts the it puts the heat generation in the reactor into standby mode. I would call it. There's no more fuel going in. Eventually, it'll run out of fuel and shut down. But I estimated that would only happen after 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 minutes. So an hour of no energy production, it'll, it'll cut off on its own. That's an estimate. I don't know how long it'll really take. But, but so there's really no chance of a meltdown because while it's running, it's using up the energy. And while it's not running... Well, it's not consuming it or producing energy over here. It's not going to melt down. That was one. That was one really important part of that. I wanted to make sure. That's why I let it run so long in in a creative world. Let's see if those fluid tanks. It's saying I need fourteen more. Wow, I used a lot of them, huh? I didn't think I had that that many. Actually, we need to go in here, grab ourselves some more copper plates. Some iron sheets, too. And once it's all running and everything, it's a little bit easier to explain. And we still need to make fuel and go to the nether. Oh, by the way, night. Whenever you're done with the train, if you are already, you do, all you have to do is just leave it there. I'll come, I'll come with a train station out there and disable it or disassemble it. And we'll use the parts to build a new one at some point. To go a different direction. Probably not tonight. I think it's going to consume the, the majority of our time just trying to get this going. So we need 14. Let's let's be exact with it because we don't want to keep consuming our resources here. Not bad. Smart shoot. I keep saying smart shoot, but okay, we've got the fluid tanks. We can't make boiler heaters yet. Layered magnets we could probably work on. 
Oh, we already got 32. How many do we need? 60. So we're halfway there. Eventually, these two chests will make, their, make it in there also. I mean, you could honestly just wait until... Uh, there's different things you can do with the heat pumps, too. You can make sterling generators, which they're kind of like mini pumps, I guess. Mini little engines. I don't know if I like them. And I'm kind of skeptical about this mod only because the heat generation fluctuates so much. I wish it was like a steady stream and it would be a lot more reliable. That's where I think the lava version of this is going to be really come in clutch. So if I'm not capable of keeping this thing running once I get my thorium, uh, my thorium uh, duplicator, I guess you could call it, running... I'm going to run this one reactor before I build the other three because I might just switch it completely over to lava, which is really reliable and easy to make. Completely renewable. But got a new mod to play with, so why not Why not change it up? Do it different. Okay, layered magnets take a whole lot of gold and iron. Let's just go with magnet. It'll probably come up better. <laughs> and we got it. Nice. All right. Reactor fuel inserter. I'm guessing most of these type of things, these more complicated little sets here, they're going to be costly. Yeah, so we're going to have to make these reactor casings. Unavoidable. And you know what? Deployer, press, and... Little bit of rotational energy with some some of that. I think we can make it out here. We're already pulling. We've already got the energizer sitting there. So if we just get a deployer, which we have a ton of them now. Deployer and a little press. Press. Do we have any belts? Nope. Ooh. Do we got any kelp? I know you dropped off a ton of it, yeah. Let's get this kelp going. What's up, friends? Still not a one hot one uh one hit kill. That's disappointing. You know, let's do every Every other, I don't know what I'm doing right now. It's gonna pull it. It's gonna pull it no matter what. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I'm wondering if we can just depot it up and pick it up ourselves. Because if it's only one pass through, we only need to do it right. Let's look it up. Uh. Inserter, here we go. We only need, we need four of these for uh, each thing. So if it's, on, it's one, two, three, so it's three step. Energize, add a plate to it, and then stamp it out. So we can do depot, and we can just manually do it since we don't need that many. At least I don't think we need that many. I'm probably wrong. And I know we need to do auto crafting, so we're going to have to adjust this setup. I forget what I even made here. Work. Is there another way to create these? Yeah. No, that's it. So what's everybody else working on in the server? I'm assuming since... Wait, Knight, did you survive the mob? I'm guessing you did. I'm guessing you did. We kind of have to wait for belts, I guess. Or no, depots, depots, depots. That's what we need to do. Just getting distracted. I had my mond elsewhere. 
Working on create starter power. Nice. I thought I'd like these more than I do. Ooh, the angler fish. Don't those only spawn in, in uh, snowy areas? That's where I've seen them. They're all under the ice over there. Ow. Okay, depot, depot. How's this little crushing thing work? We need two inserters, so we're going to have to do this twice. If this works. So iron plate, it's got to go into the deployer. So we go deployer. Sometimes this backpack gets annoying. And then we go mechanical press. I think we just shut down our machine. Yeah, we did. I've had a, a it's absolute peak. Let's go down to 20, see if it turns back on. That's what I do. I like to just creep it up. But I did learn a few things about this mod. So uh, first off, 25 is probably too much. Nope. 27 is the max. Okay. I learned that uh, you're better off maxing this out at 256 than you are having two of them run at a lower RPM. So before, you're, before you even attempt to create a second ring like this, you have to have enough. Just max it out. There's no point in, in having two of them at a lower RPM. That's one thing I did learn. So for here, what we need, oh, it's bricks. I didn't even, I wasn't even paying attention to what we put in there. Do we have bricks? I don't know. I don't know. I probably should have put that kelp directly in the depot too. Clay. Oh, plenty of clay. With bricks just enough you know what just in case we need it later I'll do a stack oh the why is there a fire here oh that that on the odd chance it might have shot. Okay, yeah. Let's just click that in there. We'll grab our kelp. I want to make sure the kelp gets smelted up, so let's put that next in line. You can never have enough belts, so. But yeah, the the new age does not have any type of book to go along with it. Which nowadays that should almost be standard, but then again. Trying to put me out of a job here, guy. Okay. This energizer is super slow, but I'm hoping that it does like a progress bar on the bricks so I can just move it to the next step. Let's get our hopper. And then I think it said sheets. Iron plates, iron sheets, same thing. How do we know it's done? It'll probably tra transform me. Yeah. Ooh, shiny. Oh no, they're all in their own little progress. I thought I could do four at a time. Oh God. Okay, okay. You go there, then you go there, and you go here. I should I should have just belted it up. <laughs> It'd have been so much easier. Oh, you get four per. You get four per per block. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. We can we can manage that. I can't tell which ones are which. Yeah, I can. Yeah, that's that's way better than I thought. Okay, it's not too bad. Let's grab that. Switch you out. Put you there.
All right, we don't need to make an assembly line for this if it's going to be that quick. That's doable. Oh, far. Okay, I got you. Forbidden Arcanus. I know nothing about magic, but you know that. I haven't even touched it. The only thing I've done with magic is is the uh, scrolls that I find. I just use them randomly. Like that crazy fast uh, spectral horse was pretty cool. Work all day. Da, 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 da. You know, I kind of knew that. We we're going to run out of kelp. <clears throat> he's not a bad horse. Like He's got speed 12. He's not as fast as, as Resolutions. Reselections. Res I cannot pronounce it, but I just I know it. Okay. What? Oh, okay. I keep forgetting there's a filter on here, so it's not going to move on if we don't if we don't put the kelp the dried kelp on the filter list here. Should probably put the bricks too, just in case we need it later. What is in Forbidden Arcanus? Like, what's where's the appeal in it? Because I have no idea what it does. I mean, Iron Spellbook is pretty clear. It's straightforward. I don't have it there for anything specific. I just assumed that if you drive it backwards, it might turn the... It might spin the uh, things and break the tracks that you already laid down. But you made it to the monument. That's pretty sweet. It's not cooking up. Ooh, this might not even cook in here. We might need something else. I think we do, actually. Now that I think about it, because I wasn't thinking, this one might need fire. There's a difference in some of them. Dried kelp might need fire. Yeah, I thought so. Deep down I knew it, but I was hoping this one might work. It won't break the track. I do have I do have drills on the front of it. But he's driving backward. He's driving in reverse for a few thousand blocks. I mean, if you want to bring it back, that's fine. That's up to you. It, it, reverse has way slower speed, so it's going to take a long time to go a few thousand blocks, but if it's not breaking it, cool. That's a thing? <laughs> That's a thing? Storage controller? Storage link? A linked controller? Is it called that? Trap. Oh, here we go. Contra contraption controller. Got it. I actually didn't even know that was a thing. Good to know. <laughs> Still faster than walking. I mean, yeah, if you just bring it back to the station and, and hold space and it'll line it perfectly up with the station. Because if you go past and then you pull forward, it's going to break the track, which isn't that big a deal either. But, but I can't disassemble the train unless it is at the station. It might not even let you, actually, because remember, it wouldn't let you drive the train into the into the thing. So you might end up just going straight to the the edge of my claim and then going right back in. That's pretty cool. All right, here's my big question because I can't find anything on the internet and it's not that big a deal. I could do it on my own, but for these tunnels that go through the caves, this is you've probably even thought about this. You want to place something every X amount of blocks. Would it be easier just to make a flying machine to, to do it for me? Or like a walker? I could probably make a create walker that 
places down a sea lantern or a torch every so often. Because I still got to build the machine that makes these tunnels for me. Most of mine are going to be enclosed with a little bit of glass. Because I'm going for that high-tech tunnel, speed tunnel look, but... What were we doing? What were we doing? <laughs> oh, right. We need to smelt up our, our kelp over here. No fuel. No fuel. Got a little bit. Just a little bit. Nice, he got the roadkill. Yeah, the deployers will place every black. I seen somebody, I don't know if it was Tango maybe, did some something crazy. Uh, I guess we'll leave you there for a second. Where they did something something with the timing and and turning things on and off and it 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 managed to do it somehow. I'm not sure. I don't even want to dive into that amount of complexity because by the time I even built that machine, it would probably just be easier to throw the torches down myself. Jeez, it's already eleven o'clock. Whoa. It's all right. We're still going. We're just going to steep, keep going. Is there anything else we need now? I think we can make the inserter. Or at least the funnels. All right. Update our list and see if we're at a, at a standstill or not. Thinking maybe they did this uh, crazy contraption I saw online where the guy had two machines that were connected somehow, part one and part B, and there were signs placed where he didn't want the other machine that passed through the other machine. It just seemed way too complicated for for just placing torches and a few blocks around it because I am doing the deployers around it just to make it like a roundish tunnel, which I'll have to carve that one out too, but. Yeah, it seems like a lot more work than it was worth. All right, we're getting there. One, two, three, four, five, six more things. That's it. But most of these are, are a little more complicated than we'd hoped. Like a redstone torch, impossible. Mm, yeah. I could even... If they're in the exact same spots, I could break them out because it, it only needs to be what every eight or so blocks. I'm just trying to stop mobs from spawning. It's not going to be a whole lot of them, but there are going to be sea lanterns. I know that much. Let's throw this stuff in here. Yeah, oops. I meant to move that. I didn't mean to take it. So add, create, let's see if it lines up. Is it not create new age? Here's our heat pipes, which we need for our crafting recipe. Let's just go with the each individual item. Two redstone torches. Reactor rod. Okay, this part needs to be put in the crafter. We've got that. We've got that. We don't have the nuclear fuel, which is 
radioactive thorium stamp 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 st oh stamp iron okay we've got one press already over there That's got to be a long trip back. Oh, man. Did I give you the Gauza? Or was that somebody else? This gun. The, the Scorched, or SC Gauza. Gauza? Yeah. Cause I've got a bunch of bullets now. I set up a little something to to create those earlier, but I used it. I had to tear it down for another another build. I could definitely hook you up with some bullets if you need them. Maybe some other stuff. Ooh. Name your price. Let's throw this let's throw this stuff inside our crusher. Just make sure we've got some thorium all done up for us. So when you press thorium in here, uh, it breaks down. I got some more EXP here. You could have the CXP too. When you break it down, I think it gives you two pieces. Maybe I'm wrong there. And I need to look at the chat. I completely missed that. Completely missed it. Not bad. So it's only a, a mostly end game mod. Can't really do any progress until you kill the dragon. So you need his scales for a ton of. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. It it looked like I had a lot of armor and things like that. And I just found out today we can drive the create mod uh, trains into the aether. That is a thing. So they can go to the nether and the aether. Which is pretty cool. Let's check on something. Just start with start with our basics here. Heat pipes. They need zinc nuggets or zinc nuggets. So I think we should go with zinc nuggets. Specifically, we need nine of these just for for that. So we need clay. That's where we need our our terracotta or our clay. Just wondering if the lava will work for this, or is it going to be a flame? Yeah, lava works. Okay, perfect. That'll make this way easier. We need some gold plates while we're at it, so when that's cooking up, we'll do that. And then we're going to have to make the trip to somebody's nether portal to snatch up, snatch up some netherrack. Shouldn't be too bad. We don't have to go into the nether very far. Keep a little more out. I should utilize this area a little bit. I've got open slot here. I moved over. Oh, you're joining in. Nice. I moved 
moved this over so it lined up with the pipe for the lava and this is where we make our sturdy sheets still need to move my machine back and send those back through and then this is our track maker which we still got a bunch of track left over and I've got two more slots to add in and then our precision mechanism is going to go in this back corner or maybe over here I don't know I got, I got a lot of things to do it all it's all relying on that power station out there getting done because we can't power even even powering both of these is really really pushing it through the gold in there finally got up nice well, servers maxed out but this is normal the only person who gets on that I'm aware of it at this time of night is maybe reselect. That's about it. All right. So for the build alone, we need nine of these. So nine, maybe, maybe we do 12 just to be safe. And then the rest can go just towards whatever crafting we need to do. Ah, uh, yeah, Pine Quest gets on too. That's true. That's very true. He has a nice little base going. Wonder what we got for. We got an we got an ethereal heavy bullet as a reward. Ethereal. That's probably how you pronounce it. Slime ball and zinc. Those are a little more useful. I can't even make what uses that. I got ten of them. Oh, that's that's these you these. If I made that gun, it's ridiculous. It's a 50 damage sniper rifle. That might be a good plan for the for the uh, dragon. We all bust out our um, a nice set of guns, probably at this level where you're doing 20 plus damage per hit. Have a sniper hitting shots off. Somebody running in the cages. Be a good time. Ooh, experimental rounds. Is that this one? Yeah, it's anything scorched is a struggle bus and just to begin with, but look at that. You get 96 bullets per recipe. Brass, nitro dust. That's what we need. Nitro dust. What's nitro dust? It's the oil that trips me up, honestly. Redstone, <laughs> good enough. Pure, pure gunpowder. It's just a wash plant. Yeah, that's pretty. That's all pretty straightforward. It's the, it's the cot or the, whatever it's called, the solidified clumps. That's what really gets me. Because it's it's slime ball, which you can make with you can make a slime ball with green dye and all that. I think you can even make gunpowder. Slime balls are really easy. It's just dye and a little bit of dough. Look right here. You can make some wheat dough in a millstone real quick off of the wheat, whatever, and then just some lime dye out of a cactus or or something else. And then, but still, either way, fuel brick, that's just clay and coal. So you just need a lot of mixing going on. It's pretty much almost all done in the mixer besides the wash plant, but yeah, I get it. It's, it's a tedious process just to make bullets. But what, what gun fires that? I definitely recommend the Nixie tube though, if it can have it. Such it's way better than the medium scope. 
You can see right through it. Little red dot, basically. Oh, yeah. You could actually, if you want wheat, where are you? You're down. Yeah, you're down here. If you don't want to start a wheat farm, there, it, I know it's a long trip for you, but just south of me, there might even be more elsewhere. It's kind of covered in snow right now, but there's these barns. They have a ton of wheat in them. Osborne 50 cal or Osborne 50. Oh, these. Okay. Where is it? Osborne shell. Oh, Osborne slug. Kiln gun? Punt gun? Maybe it's not going to show up just because I... Anyways. Anyways. I'm a big fan of this gun, but I think I know there's better. There's definitely better, but I like a gun that's pretty... I like something with good range. Doesn't need to have a whole lot of bullets or speed. Oh, yeah, yeah, you could, for sure, you could just go, you know, whatever. I don't know the path through here, but you just hit this river. Hit the river, go past, uh, not up to this, not up to this claim, and then, you know, shoot right up. But it's right here. It's literally right here. This barn, just be just south of my base, is per I didn't raid it yet. I don't think maybe I should check for you before you make make the trip. But I gotta head that way anyways for the nether, the nether axe. So let's let's take our horse. Our poor horse is always locked up all day. I'm gonna go in there and check. But if you have a barn that, closer than that, that that's the way to go. I can't remember if I went in there or not. I might have even ignored the the wheat because I didn't need it. I say that this place is probably ripped apart. There's pillagers in here, by the way, so definitely bring a sword or gun or whatever. Here it is. Yeah. Look, check it out. Later. Have a good one. Uh, can't wait to see what we, everybody's got built up and uh, all that, but. Now we got a slot open on the server if anybody's interested in playing. We got you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like nine bales just on the bottom. And then you got a, quite a few more up here that I didn't even touch. Yeah, it doesn't even look like I raided this place. I would shoot down the river. There's 20 hay bales in this chest. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably your best bet for sure. Just got to make your way up the river, but I got to find reselect space because that is the nearest nether portal to me. He's not too far. I mean, it's not close. It's not far. I could even, it would probably be even better off if I, you know, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go back in because Ooh, we're hitting that lag spike when it's loading up my, my iron farm. I'm going to go back and run the tracks because that is the fastest way. I should even make a little personal train just to get down there, but I don't want to have to disassemble the train. She's got a barn buyer or I don't know why I say she, he, he, I don't even know. They, they don't have a barn. Oh, it's you traveling a little bit, maybe. I don't... It mostly has lag issues is when loading new chunks, but sometimes when enough people are traveling around, it it does, which probably what, all three of us are probably moving right now. Oh, she's got a portal. Reselects right here. I think he's... Well, they're kind of the same, but... Well, even... He might be even closer. There we go. Yeah, I kind of figured it would do that. We're all, all three of us were running, traveling at the same time. <clears throat> oh, the swimming. You have the swimming thing. I think it's just a combination of all three of us. He was moving on the train. 
I'm moving on the horse. Connection failed. I might have to restart the thing because it's been on so long. When I get out, when I end stream tonight, I'm probably going to do a uh, backup on the server. Even though it's automated, it does it every day. I always do it when I log off. But yeah, I'm moving on the horse. You're swimming. Just trying to load a lot of chunks all at once. I gotta fix my mic stand. For some reason, it's not tight. And the mic was unplugged. Uh-oh. I'm yawning. It's almost loaded back up. Just got to wait a minute. Or at least my pack. My pack had to be reloaded because the auth token. I don't know if we're, how long my mic was off or not, but the auth token was expired because the pack was open for more than a day. It looks like the pack's having a little bit of trouble loading. It's weird. Normal doesn't have any issues, but no, it's pretty quick. When it does stuff like this, I'm like, no. Oh, do I really keep streaming? I kind of want to get this reactor done. I'll still play. But once once I start having issues and we're sitting on a bad screen for too long, I'm like, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. It didn't kick us back too far. So we don't really know how long it was lagging. 
that's what worries about me or worries me about too many trains running around. I don't really know how they're going to work if we got four people running on trains. Then again, if we only have one transportation train going kind of fast. Oh, the kitty's back to mess with the mic. Yep, there it goes. Alright. So, it... Oh, my... Where's my horse? I hope it didn't nuke my horse again. That's my second horse. It just disappeared because of it. What's going on, Rin? Hopefully it's still up here. This is how I lost my skeleton horse, actually. Skeleton horses, by the way, swim super fast in water. If you didn't know. Come on, tell me I got my horse. I don't actually think it chunk loads. When it's on its own, uh, just traveling, I don't think it chunk loads at all. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything with diamond armor. I think my horse got deleted. Let's travel a little further. Either way, we got to go here. I mean, we're just a little bit slower. Just a little bit slower. It's going to be a little bit easier to see, too. I gotta oh a temple yeah 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 right here I think I don't know if I've done that one or not when I do it you, you'll know I rip that thing apart there's so many hidden little things inside of it hidden chest hidden hidden uh, loot room but I'm not sure if I've done that one or not I really should make my, I've got this big factory, you know, nice looking place, I think. And then it's already been, yeah, I probably did it. I probably ripped it. There's still a uh, player instance, player instant loot chests in there. But the majority, I think if you've raided one before, it's got a ton of uh, emeralds and gold and diamond blocks, all sorts of stuff in there. Now, one of them, if you can get to it on your own uh, without, or find one on your own, it's these right here this desert temple it's got puzzles in it but the loot room once you finally do get to it and it you cannot mine through it it gives you mining fatigue big time but if you do get it uh, and fi figure out all the puzzles and successfully make it through it's insane loot there's another one there's a bigger one too a much bigger temple that's even rarer seems like the server's doing okay i think what happens is it It'll lag. It says I can't keep up. And then after so many, I think it's like 2,000 ticks behind, that's when it finally bites the dust. So I'm trying not to. I'm kind of traveling fast, actually. Mission, Mission Netherrack. Hopefully he's still got his portal up. Because the other one is a lot further away. See, this isn't too bad. Kitty, come here. The cat, uh, she makes her visits. She goes upstairs. Hunts for dust bunnies or I don't know what she does up there in the middle of the night. And then comes back down. Oh, I can't use my gun here. Oh, yeah, I can. I just can't aim it. I was trying to avoid other people's bases because I don't want to be like. See, he's done a lot to it since I've been here last time. Because I, I keep using your portal. Thanks for making it. Thanks for being close. But uh, I've been using it a lot whenever I need to get into the nether because it's the closest one. Just does cat things, exactly. The fact that I'm not going through this portal is worrying. Is there a claim thing?
hacks. Is this hacks? Can we? Yeah, okay. You can't use other people's portals. Hack, cheater, admin mode. I just need another rack, but I'm not gonna. I don't like tearing around, you know, in there. We'll go a little bit away because I don't need that much, anyways, either. I don't want him to come into the nether and ha find out his entire claim, or not claim, but nether portal area has just been ripped. So we'll go hide in here. Probably should just grab enough so I don't have to come back here at later on oh there's a claim here oh there's <laughs> there's multiple nether claims okay Oh, that's actually kind of sweet. Yeah, I did mark his portal, okay? I wanted to I wanted to know where it was so I could travel from my base a little quicker. But yeah, if, if you can't go through somebody else's nether portal, that's actually really sweet. Because that stops uh, people from just joining the server and jumping jumping in the nether and trying to find portals just to get to your base. I guess I just got a little perk. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. You don't even need lava either, by the way. You can just straight up. You're back at the base. I'm headed back right now. Oh, nice! Coming in, coming in clutch. Big, huge help today for sure. What's your price? What do you need? Do you need something? Materials? You just saved me an absolute huge amount of time. Oh, I'm gonna go this way. We need to go a little east. I don't like going through that jungle area. It's too hard. I don't have a huge amount of diamonds. We'll get you. We'll get you something nice. We just fig got to figure out what it is. Yeah, this is easier to travel. I got an idea. I got an idea for something. That you could do. Or not to, but we can give you. What is this? You look terrifying, bro. <laughs> I shouldn't shoot those. It sounds sounds awful. Like <laughs> That's so true too. As soon as, as soon as we got the cat, it's, it was her house. She lays on the keyboard whenever she wants. She just does anything she wants. It's like when she wants pet petted, she'll wake you up in the middle of the night. I mean, she's still a kitten. Cats can be trained to an extent. Actually, they're really smart, but well, too smart. But a book of skills, we can do better than just a book of skills. I think we can do better than that. No, I don't even know if I've been in here. Honestly, maybe I have. Oh, yeah, this is the one I broke the spawners in. I'm almost back to my base. You don't have a book of skills yet, though? 
Oh my god. You, so you haven't activated any of your skills. Is that what you're saying? There's no way. That was... Bro, you're going to have a great... Okay, how about a book of skills? And I'm going to hook you up with all of the EXP I have that I can give. You got all the hay bales? Nice. Where am I headed? I just went over the mountain. Oh, I did a weird turn. Did a weird turn there. Hey, do you want to go back to your base faster? Oh, wait, you won't take your stuff with you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure without armor, I could one-shot you. That's a, that is the slowest horse on the server. Six or seven. Yeah, both of these horses are yuck. Now the donkey, on the other hand, he's this donkey is faster than the horses. Nobody saw a thing. I'm gonna go now. I've never seen a donkey that can go faster than a horse. Are you kidding? So wait, Knight, you you have not used... Oh, I gotta go out there, don't I? Because you can't drive the train in here. You've not used the Book of Skills yet at all? To upgrade your mining or anything? Welcome back, by the way. There's no way. I'm in shock because it, it's so useful. There's a horse inside the... <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Not as fast as ours, but that's okay. I think we might have to start a horse breeding program or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe uh, once I get the thorium thing going. Oh, I'm lagging out. Where'd we go? How do we get the horse out of the chair? We don't. Let's back this boy up and then we'll get our horse. Don't die on me. Gotta go slow with it because I don't want to pass the station and break the tracks, but it seems like he's okay. Just inch our way back. Oh, I think it broke one track. That'll be all right. All right. Let's disassemble this guy. Bam. I think it broke. Okay, it just broke a little bit of a flint. No big deal. These things. God. I love that I can reload this entire gun in one clip. Just one hit. Boom. That's a nice part, too. All right, so... Hey, how's it going? Oh, I got two peoples at my base. Whoops. I gotta be careful with shooting. I don't want to knock something. Are you riding a polar bear? Are you kidding me? I knew you could tame him. How'd you even get a horse on here? How'd you even get a horse on the train? I think I got some gold armor in there and some saddles from fishing. Joe, Joe, your polar bear. Got it. No, definitely. Makes sense. Joe the polar bear. For sure. It's it's super funny that his feet are moving like 10,000 miles an hour. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Do I have a book of skills? Yeah.
Oops, my I threw it out. My backpack picked it up. Hey, you can come up here. You can't kill in here? No, you should be able to kill. Oh, and you have to kill with a gun. And sometimes it says that stuff even though it still works. And then... Those are all I have right now, but I'll get you more. A little bit of EXP to get going. Actually, you know what? I'll do better. I can do better than that. That was a lot of work. We can do better than that. Pump. Here we go. Okay, there's a ton of EXP in front of you. Ooh, Joe. Joe is a beast. He's going after them little squirrely things. Oh, I don't want to hit him. I don't want to hit him. If I shoot, I might hit him. No, that's not even that much. That's like basic EXP. Here. Where can we do this? I don't know where to do this. I'm glad you were able to help out. Yeah, hey, let me hook you up. Just gotta set it up. I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna. Oh, I know what I can do. Easy. I know what I can do. I need a cog. Let's sleep too. Get these mobs stop spawning. I sit around and fish all day with this. Okay, we'll grab a water wheel. Maybe a cog. I think we might need a gearbox. All right, there we go. Not here, not here. Do that right there. Why am I drawing a blank here? Uh Oh, you had to leave the claim to use the XP. Well you won't have the pro you won't have a problem with that in a second. Just need a building block or two. Yeah, I think it's summertime, so it's, like, killing us. Gotta get out of here. Here, I got one more piece to put on, and then then you can come over and collect. Get some of those skills up so you can you can get some proper tools and, and mining right. <laughs> Work all day. The song's been stuck in my head for like five days. 
All right, all right. Here, come over here. Do that there, and then that there. You just gotta come over where I am. It'll be okay. I have plenty, plenty to give out. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice, okay. I mean, I guess we could see his F1 speed racing, and then we can get some more stuff. He's crazy fast in the water. Is he just sitting under there? That's ridiculous. No wonder it lagged out, bro. That's like creative flight times three. Just gone. That's got to be more than just the skill book. That's got to be. Read. <laughs> oh my god. That that's literally crazy. But here, here, stand under the shower. Stand under the shower. Oh, I've got a whale of the ocean, I think. Actually, I just never used it. Oh, yeah, I got I've got an insane amount of levels. This ain't even nothing. I'm at such a high level that filling up 30 levels only takes like a couple of couple levels out of the spell book. I love this auto exp filler too. It's sweet. All right, that's all I can give. I gotta save some for for a couple things. That should get you quite a bit, actually, though. That was a decent amount of exp, I think. Once I get the exp farm going, though, these three towers will be completely filled with. No, thank you, thank you for riding the train, get me a horse, and bringing it back. That's huge. That's that's a massive time saver. I appreciate that for sure, but once I get the thorium maker going, that's going to produce fuel and it's going to produce EXP, so I'll probably AFK that quite a bit and fill up all these tanks, and then we'll just have endless EXP towers, or, or showers, basically. Be able to max out every skill. Wow, it is hot. It is hot in this biome. I have not maxed swimmer yet. No. I haven't done a lot of swimming. I've got, but I've got a lot of skills. I might have to eat. I might have to get a soul. I might have to eat a soul uh, sprout. Yeah, I think we're hitting summertime. Early summer, that's what it is. I remember last time it got to this point, we were... We're getting pretty toasty in here. It's because the front of the the front of the factory is actually desert. You can see the difference in the grass. But then when we get out a little bit in here, <laughs> it was the heat, <laughs> bro. Yeah, it's it's getting crazy hot over here. Early summer, 
I actually liked the winter because it wasn't too cold here because of the desert. I, my heat stayed up. Yeah, for sure. You might want to head back or, or go into a cave or a building. I think buildings negate some of the heat things too. I didn't even have to build a hearth. I, every time I was about to freeze, I just went out into the desert a little ways. It wasn't as bad. Okay. I guess we're going back to trying to figure out what we're doing. Which was basically the reactor parts. We, everything else is good to go. We need a reactor rod, heat pipes. I've got heat pipes. We need boiler heaters. Calendar says it's good summer. All right, yeah. Out of curiosity, did you get a sea lantern? I'm not sure. I know you mentioned it, but I'm going to have to make a trip out there, I think. We got our gilded eye in there, too. All right, let's fo focus, focus, focus. We need boiler heaters. We're missing blaze spawners, and we need nine of these. This is a big one off our list. So what are we missing? Energized iron. I'm determined to get this done, but we're, we're running out of time. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotcha, gotcha. It's all right. It's perfect. Let's throw this in here. I might even have prismarine shards. I'm not even... I've gotten a few here and there. I haven't even checked, actually. No, no, don't. That's way too far out. There's other ways to do it. There's literally other ways to do it. Like, see... You could go back and build your base. Yeah, it's prismarine shards and prismarine crystals, which we can get from a heart of the sea. That'll give it eight of those and some XP, but that's not ideal. Oh, no, 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 for sure. This is easy. This is so easy. Don't even bother. Trust me. You're already at the sunken city? Is it that close? How? Oh, you're already back at your base. I was going to say, you can you can cook up some lapis with soul, uh, soul uh, sand fire, and then it gives chance of prismarine so it's really not that bad i thought a sea lantern would be a lot more and i was kind of hoping this would be charged already so that's gonna take a second let's let's update our book i think the hardest part is going to be the reactor rods just because we gotta auto craft them All right, one, two, three, four. Four more things, a smart shoot, and the reactor rods, basically, and the boiler heater. Do we not have enough of those? Boiler heater, boiler heater. Oh, yeah, right, we need the energized, the energized stuff. Do I want 50 geodes? No, no, you can have them. That's, I guess that's a perk of the rails. For sure. 100%. Just break them open. That'll probably get you a good amount of diamonds and resources too. No sea lanterns in the sunken city? Oh, it's all candles. Yeah, that's all right. We do have the monument. The monument is... Is definitely a way, but I think the soul sand might be an easy way to do it. Just slap down some soul sand in the fire and, and throw it in front of it with a depot or a, with a depot. I could even change that out right now. I could pick up that lava. Oh yeah, the tracks. Yeah, we could definitely use tracks. Put those back in here for now. Oh, I passed it right up. I need the energized stuff. Oh, 
Oh, no, you're all good. You're all good. Again, I do appreciate it. Going now all that way out is insane. What I'm going to have to do is... When I go out there, I'm just going to disassemble this train. Or maybe take off the drill part. Make a smaller train. And then just shoot on out there, which will be really quick. Especially if no one's on in the morning. Where I don't have to worry about uh, block lag or whatever. Is this having issues? Oh, because we got the other machines here to make that that thing. So let's get rid of these. Get rid of those. Right? That's actually one of my favorite things to do is just go exploring, but I've been limiting myself because I really want to get this base going. That's the only thing that's stopping me from, from running around the server and finding all the rare rare buildings because a lot of them haven't even been touched. Like, for real. starting to heat up again I guess since those aren't on there we could probably kick this back up to 50 something nope was it 59 57 maybe I'm completely wrong 29 what guess that's it maybe that'll help charge this up a little bit I think it even reset dang it it reset it when it stopped. But we do have the power now. So maybe that'll kick it along a little better. I thought I had a lot more energized, but I must have used them all up when I when I did the little whatever. Alright. Let's take let's take down the drills. There's nothing I can do until I get that energized. Uh, iron so we might as well might as well do something else for a second taking apart this train partially I don't know I don't want to even touch the chests if I open up these chests they're just going to explode everywhere yeah kind of figured oh these might even have andesite in them we'll take the andesite cobblestone gravel Here's the, wow, it, it picked up 64 mossy cobble. All the dirt I could use for a lifetime. We got plenty of tracks. Tracks are no no problem. I, I could probably even shut down our track maker. It only used almost one chest. That's it. Flint, on the other hand, it, it used two and a half chests almost. More than two and a half. There, now we can actually see where we're going. We don't need the deployers on here or any of this. It's all from the dungeon. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> For 100%. There we go. Oh, I'm so close. Come on. Oh, can I grab it? Can I grab it? Just... Uh, I, I tried. I tried. It ain't gonna work. So why don't you use the one in your backpack? Duh. Okay. I think we just gotta reset the... Yeah, this one ugly train, but it worked. It worked, and it I, I believe it worked well, but we have to ask Knight on that, because he's the one who drove it. Is 
doesn't have to be pretty all the time. It's just got to work, right? I don't know why I'm avoiding this. It's really not even that bad. We already got inserters. We just need to do these fuel. We need to do fuel rods or nuclear fuel, and we also need to reconfigure our thing. So what is it? One, two, three, four, five, five, three, five, five, three, three, five. Is this thing even powered still? Nope. I, I took it out. So three. All right. We're already even. It's already set up mostly. Is it? Wait. No. No, it's not. One, two, three, four, five, three. And they all went in the backpack. Oh, are you gonna what's the dormant I do? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, do it. Do it. It doesn't really do anything. It talks to you. It's really creepy. I'm not even sure what it does. Honestly. Does that look right? So now we just need, oh, we need to make reactor glass too. Okay, so let's do that. And then let's make some fuel. How many of these rods do we need? That makes two rods, two, four, six, eight. So we, we need to make this five times over. So four times five. I'm not good at math, so let's just do that many unavoidable gold plates are in the thing over there <laughs> for real I, I literally have it on I have it on right now it gives you an extra slot charm slot too to replace the one that it takes I think I even have one that adds another uh, gloves but I don't have it on right now this looks new. I don't remember there being a feed slot there. Nuclear. Oh. Anyways, stamp, deploy, stamp. It's not called a stamp, it's called a press. Good try, though. I think that's the first time somebody's actually been at my base without uh, or with me actually being here. That was different. Normally I'm I'm running off somewhere or doing something or, or I'm not on the server. I go to everybody else's base. What did I get? Radiation? Hunger? And bad omen from what? I'm just standing here? Okay. Where could we do this at? This one's deployer. This is our track. Let's get rid of that. Oh, 
Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, the kelp. Yeah, the kelp was... The kelp actually came in clutch. That was insanely helpful, for sure. Actually, I gotta I gotta remind myself to make something that can cook up that kelp butter. Stamp. Deploy stamp. Stamp deploy stamp. Remember this. Okay, where's our where's our uh, this is our track maker. It's already got a stamp and a deploy, so we just got to swap out this one and then move the hopper. And we need we need thorium. We didn't we didn't grab that. Progress, some progress. I don't know if we're going to get the reactor done tonight. We still got to do some auto crafting and some few other things. I don't know if we have the resources for it. Let's try to get this fuel first, though. Then we'll worry about all that. All right, we got four thorium. It's not a whole lot, but it works. Get the wrench. It would be nice to just get all the parts and then throw it in and just let it let it build itself tonight, even if I'm not on. So let's see what four thorium gets us for, for nuclear fuel, because we're going to need a lot of thorium to run this thing. This can be part of our process. I, I don't think I'm going to feed the, the fuel into it. Uh, Automated though. Is it not stamping it? The end portal is literally at my base. Is this not stamping? You just got to come back to my base. Yeah, it says stamp. Third step stamp. So why did these not stamp? Maybe I gotta send it back through. This 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 should be pitinging pitting, right? Am I crazy? There's no way. I hope this works. Next step, deploy an iron plate. Is this not deploying? Oh, it's got a nugget in its hand. Okay, that's why it's not working. We gotta get, how do we get the nugget out? There we go. I was confused. I'm like, what is happening right now? I just automatically assumed it did the plate already. There we go. Okay, good, no bugs. We're set. Look, when it stamps it, it just gets brighter. But ching, now all of a sudden it's it's got feel. That's interesting. How it's moving on the belts. That's a little weird. So it's a one to one ratio. Four four feels gonna get me four four things. We're going to need a little more thorium than that, though. Yeah, when you get here, just, just come over to me and I'll show you. But it's pretty straightforward on how to get to it. Sleepies are kicking in, but I'm trying to hold out because we are really, really close. 
We're super close. Maybe. <laughs> I gotta make more thorium, more fuel rods. Then, because we gotta make nine of these. Nine of we have to make nine nine fuel rods. That's a big deal. What else? Okay. Smart shoot. I've just been avoiding that one, but that's not too hard. So boiler heaters, five more boiler heaters and five more react or six reactor rods. I was thinking nine, but it's six. Maybe we can knock out one of these or okay. Our irons over there being charged. So that's I think that's off our list. What about a smart shoot? Is it really that hard? Nope. Okay, we got another one of those. Smart shoots off the list. Reactor rods are going to be off the list pretty soon. So it'll come down to the sea lantern and the boiler heaters, which I bet we could check on this iron and just do it. <clears throat> it's not doing anything, so I'm going to take it off. Maybe put it back. Cause that should have that should have worked already. So maybe something work broke in the process. That should have definitely already already changed over to energized. Cause it only takes like maybe a few minutes on that level. I don't know where this hunger is coming from though. Is it the radiation from thorium? Maybe that's it. Let's put it in there. I've got a bunch. I've got a bunch of radio. Let's just stick it in, in the thing. It's got to go in the center, but bam, bam. Gold and then these. Actually, sh I, I should con connect these properly first before I go in sticking all the ingredients in. That should work. What else do we need? Am I missing something? Oh, the reactor glass. I gotcha. So that's going to go there and there. And then finally, this little corner should make it work. If it was actually powered. What do we got going on? You're here? Oh yeah, sitting, hanging out, being all patient, wonderful person. It's it's straight down this cave. This cave. Go towards the water, you'll see like uh, an opening behind it, and that will be the end. Then you 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 go all the way down the stairs till you reach the portal area. You take a right, go straight through, and you got yourself an end portal, which was super lucky. I think I found that on the first stream or second. We need to power this thing. We need we need buckets. Yeah, down there. Ooh, is this gonna work? Right there. Follow an eye of Ender. Mm. Let's hopefully we got this right. Looks like it's it's running kind of slow. We got to do this two more times. If it works out, we're two more times. Then we, we just got to get the basic sea lantern off of some lapis. 
that shouldn't be too bad because I'm just going to take the lava out, put down some soul sand, light it up. We'll be good. And hopefully that energized uh, iron will be working out for us. Oh, wow, we've been going for four hours. That's that's a long stream for me. We normally hit the the two through two maybe three hour mark. It's there. It's is it coming out? Nice, perfect. Okay, for the next one, we're gonna run and make some more thorium. We might even need more casings. Yeah, we do. You there, you there. I should throw it on a chest, but I won't. Glass, 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 and glass. All right, let's let it do a thing, and let's, let's get some more thorium up inside that that little pactor. Or pactor. You're missing only one eye? Nice. Nice. That's perfect, because we only need one more. I'm just going to convert all this to fuel. I don't see why not. Don't see a reason not to. We only need two more, though. We'll check on our energized iron, because that's going to be a chokehold, too, for us getting, getting where we want to go. Teamwork. I actually put, what? I actually I did all those eyes just based on me uh, exploring, hitting up all the different places. So I wonder what what eye is it? Do you know which eye it is? That I haven't looked. I just used whatever. It's the cursed eye. The cursed. You read my mind before I even. The cursed eye. A powerful yet destructive artifact. The piglins swore to protect it at the cost of their lives. So that that pretty much tells us we need to probably raid uh bastions right or maybe trade with piglins that could be a thing oh we want to get over here for quick we don't want it to despawn on us that might be a thing too maybe we have to trade with the piglins something tells me you gotta go to a bastion though We need four casings. I didn't even check my energized iron either. Mm, bastions are the big buildings. There's a ton of. Yeah, but yeah, I guess that's what you you could base it on. Complete nether that you know it's piglins. So what are we on to next? That's there. Our fuel's in the backpack, right? Got our four rods. That's that's a very good description. That's spot on, actually. Oh, I ripped that apart. Didn't I? I ripped it apart because I thought I had enough. Okay, Stampy and, and a deployer. Maybe if I was better at math, I would have been able to know, hey, you don't have enough, guy. You know, that might have been, have been right. Are they energized? No, but it is making progress on the laser beam. So that's a good sign. Let's just load up the stuff we got and maybe, maybe if we're lucky, it'll be finished. So what I can't wait for is is to this has been super helpful and everything, but I'd like to get the upgraded versions. You can't get out of the nether or or out of the bastion or what? Oh, out of the portal. 
the portal room. That can go in and that can go in. We're down to three more things. Reactor rod is just waiting on what the boiler heater is waiting on. Same thing, so. If this isn't done, we might even try to make that, that sea lantern while we're at it. Yeah, it's not, so. Ooh, can I light this on fire? Soul sand. What else do I need for the lantern? Okay, it gives a chance for both. So the prismarian crystals are a little rarer, but basically the same thing. We just got to run through a bunch of a lapis and we'll be set. Easy enough. That, I might have to automate that for all the... Instead of just going to that place. Pull you out. Put you down. Light her up. And then, bam. Guess we'll leave that to do its thing. Any minute now. This could really use a progress bar, if I'm being honest. Check my email. I don't know what to do right now. Check our YouTube statistics. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That is insane. 136,000 views this month. That is wild. That far exceeds any of my expectations. For, like, just imagine 136,000 and the month isn't even over yet. I can't even imagine what it looks like on one of those big channels. Billions, billions of views. Cause I'm, I'm a pretty small channel. Very small, very helpful, but very small. Ow. I always forget these are, these hurt. Let's go check on our field production, I guess. There's not a lot else we can do right now. We're just waiting on that energized stuff. 35 feel. Yeah, for sure. I guess so. I just got to keep at it. Got to, got to be persistent. There was that. That three month period that I was just like, I, I don't know if I can keep going. I'm burned out. I don't want to make any. I just didn't have the motivation to do it. And then Steampunk came along and kind of renewed that. Renewed that, that YouTube side. Like the video side gets gets lots of views and things, which is cool. And now we're building up, I guess, I, I didn't ever looked at it like this, but the more streams you do, the more, you know, exposure for the stream that happens. And then you get more people coming into the streams itself. Server definitely helped a lot with that. And it was almost like the same for videos, if you think about it. If you only post one video, then your likelihood of being found is... Is a lot less so it's just staying consistent and posting a lot not just a lot but good good stuff helpful stuff or entertaining you know whatever whatever your thing is mine's tutorials short tutorials obtain a skeleton skull he must be in one of them dungeons
Oof. That gave a lot more shards than crystals. We're going to have to burn up another stack. I never checked just because I do get so much lapis while mining, but I wonder if you can actually make lapis. Oh, yeah, the stronghold's dangerous, but there's a lot of cool stuff down there. If you did find the other part of the building, there's a maze inside of it. There's also just a really big, big area. There's some fire traps down there. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way to maybe the should per, pristine lapis. Let's see if there's a way to, to make the actual lapis, not just the block. Yeah, just the heart of the sea, which those are not are not makeable. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. There's blaze. That's actually where I got most of mine. So if you see one missing, that's that's where I got them. I've only crafted maybe two or three. I think I gave a lot of them away too. There were a ton of them down there. There's a lot of food down there. If you're in, well, I can't see it right now, but if you go to a certain spot in there, there's like a, off of the big, huge main hall, there's a ton of food in there. I kind of thought the sea lantern would be the that the chokehold here, but we're stuck on this, and I can't really tell. Why is it not powering? Or maybe it is powering. It's just. What do we do? I could break this this chain, and that might do it because we don't need those machines inside running at the moment. So maybe if we give this thing a lot more power, it might kick in. That's probably what we got to do just for temporary. We need to get moving on this. I don't like being stuck waiting for something to, to build up. It looks like the beam just got thicker though. I think there's more people you can even fit in the big house. If you know what the big house is. Electric chair? What? Oh, is that one of the... Was that inside the stronghold? I think there was this room I found that had, I don't know if it was that place, but it had a bunch of torture devices, it looked like, basically. I, f I completely forgot about that. <laughs> yep, yep, you found it. <laughs> right. I wasn't, I thought I'd come across something like that, but I wasn't 100%, but yeah, for sure, that's what it is. Five boiler heaters, two reactor rods, and zero ability to, to get there. It looks like they're done, finally. Okay. About time. I'm going to have to make a few more of these and let them sit around because, you know. we got to connect this back up to here. I think... It was here to here, right? And then this last one goes inside. There. Now our machines are powered back up, making their things. That's funny, though. You find anything good down there yet? Besides, like, diamonds. You know, your generic stuff, but any, anything unique. There's plenty of, of regular stuff. We need five of these. Oh, 
Yes. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Now what? Now what? Now what? Casings. We might be we might be in the final leg here. We got okay, we gotta make the casings, so that's that was the deployer and the, the stamper. We've got deployer, stamper, tooth. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. So we need bricks. That's the only thing we need. We don't even need that. We just need a single brick, but let's take four with us. Nothing that studs out? Yeah. I feel like there's so much we haven't uncovered yet, but because the farther you go out, I think the rarer the dungeons get, but at the same time, maybe the because the mobs get harder. Tame a chameleon. They're useful for exploration and double as a hat. Wait, what is a chameleon useful for in exploration? I've never come across a chameleon yet. Okay, we need deployer. I forgot the rods, I think. Wait, that's what I was that's what my curiosity is. What is a tamed What does a tamed chameleon do? <laughs> that's ridiculous. That's something we gotta do. I really do want to get into Alex's mobs because you can tame a lot of different stuff. Case in point, a polar bear. Oh, the machine shut down. I forgot. We got to go down to 25. Yeah. I might even break this again just to make sure. Make sure we're getting the right amount of power onto this thing because we don't need the inside right now. Oh, that gave that a big boost. And then we needed a hopper. Summoned. Oh, right. Oh, okay, okay. I was thinking you tamed it with a... No, I got you. I didn't know you could summon polar bears. I knew you could summon horses. But that's still, that's really sweet. So what else can you summon then? You can do horses, polar bears. I think I saw a skeleton horse at one point. Let's go. All right, I think we're finally out to the last leg of this trip, which this is this was my goal for the stream to get this reactor building at least. So what does the chameleon do while we're waiting for this to be built? We dropped a chameleon molt that can be made into something that I don't know what it is. Gotcha. So what does the molt do? Oh, cold sweat. It's for cold sweat. The chameleon molt is like, uh, I think it's, you use it on a sewing table and add it to your armor, maybe. Let's look at it. Let's see if we can do the summon. Summoning scrolls. Here we go. So there's different, oh, we can raise the dead, but I'm guessing you can't use that as a mount. Summon elder chest. Summon horse, summon polar bear. There's a lot, and you can summon vexes. So pretty much, yeah, horse and horse and uh, thing. Can you? That's a thing. Yeah, that's true. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, a thermolith. So it's like the the hearth, maybe. But maybe it keeps you. No, the 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 mana or the the hearth keeps you warm. So is this something different? That's interesting. That is interesting. 
I thought it could be sewed into your armor. I thought the chameleon molt was like a, a sewing table thing, because I know you can use goat fur, I think, and hoglin. Hoglin's the best for the nether. That in there. How did I end up with this many, many extra things? Weird. So there's one brick of four of those, and then this thing is four again. Does it make sense? Right. Let's see if we got it all. So it can be sewn into armor. I, th I thought so. All right, we got everything. A long, well, not that long, but four, four hours in. We got everything we need. I just have to click the play button. Hopefully this thing gets put together right. Well, it's getting put together. We'll see. I love watching the schematic cannon. When I was doing... He died. Oh. Your chameleon died? Dang it. I love doing, uh, like, schematic cannon time lapses, but we obviously can't do that in the middle of a stream. R.I.P. You need to make a grave for him. You gotta remember the fallen. Technically, we could get this thing going if we made an LV capacitor and did a little bit of redstone, but I do want to test it out, at least. I gotta set the redstone things. Oh, no. I might not test it out, actually. Because if it's running while I'm not on the server, because I will be getting off it a bit. Off the server in a little bit. There's skulks with the sensor shrieker down here. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of. It can summon another, or it can summon a warden, I think. When your screen starts flashing black and you can't see anymore, you probably want to get out of there. Yeah, it looks okay. Here's its first error that I can see. It's got the belt in. It has the funnels built in correctly. But the rods, it didn't place right. And if I break these, it might explode. That's not ideal. I think I still have to place water, too. Ooh, do I break this rod and explode? And then I have to make a bunch more? It's inevitable. Oops. Didn't want to do that. Didn't want to break it in that fashion. Where'd it go? They gotta be they gotta be running a long ways, but that's okay. We'll just leave it as is until it builds the whole thing. May I'll put a single fuel in here just to see what happens. It's almost done. It's just got to do the top. Put some shafts in and the steam engines, I think. Or is it not placing the steam engines? It doesn't look like it's placing the steam engines. Maybe it's waiting. It might wait till this thing's fully built. Or it's having issues, I don't know. <laughs> That's ridiculous, though. Look how much time it took us just to build one of these. I have to build three more of them. I mean, I guess it's going to be a little easier once we fully power our base here. and We can set up the lines here to, you know, do the things. Do all the things that we kept switching out out there. We can now, with this thing, we'll be able to run in the base fully operational just with one of these. Then once we get the other ones, it'll be crazy. But I'm curious to see if these steam engines get put in place. And now I want a chameleon. Okay, so it looks like it didn't copy everything properly. In fact, it definitely didn't put everything in. He 
Yeah, okay, that's weird. It didn't build everything it should have. It didn't put in some of the shafts. I think it missed a couple things. Okay, let's make some shafts and get this thing fixed up. It did build most of it, though. Is that all it missed though? Let's go inside too. Pick up some fuel and see if we can get it started. I think I need an extra funnel actually. Just to get the thing started, you need you need a single funnel. I gotta realign the rods. You know what? Just for I wasted one flying into the abyss. I'm, I don't care if I have to use another. It'll be worth it. Totally worth it. The amount of time saved building up and moving all around and everything. Okay, we need to put that there. Nope, not there. Right here. Maybe I had trouble with the orientation. That looks good, right? We need to move these. I think it has trouble with certain blocks. It doesn't quite put them right. Where did our last one go? So we want these. Oh, the injectors didn't go in right either. One, two, three, and then an injector. Same thing over here. One, two, three. Fuel injector. Oh, it, I didn't even need it. I built it in already. I built in the uh, the emergency fund here, I guess. Or the emergency fuel. We've run out of fuel. There's the sea lantern. And then this doesn't belong here. Did something weird there. Or maybe it was something in the pack and I just never even noticed it. That's not connected up either. It's facing the wrong way. Oh, I don't do this. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hopefully... Hopefully, if we're lucky, this just clicks in where it needs to be. It's not going to do it. Is this the half cog? Yeah. Okay. We got to make the full. Wow. I love if if we could craft orbs of flight, that would be amazing. I would definitely like that. What's the difference between the half and the large? Is it because it's got the cut or the gear shift on both sides of it? That's what it is for sure. Okay. Okay, let's check everything over. We've got brushes, rings. This is here. We had a, these are set. We need to do something up here with redstone, but if we're just getting it started, I think we'll be okay. Don't need that anymore. Feel is looking good. These are connected in. Oh, we need a we need a pump for the water. Then if we can, I think I want to make goggles just because I need them for a quest and 
our goggles are going to allow us to to see what's going on with the, the steam engine. So hopefully we got the stuff for that. I didn't even think about goggles until a minute ago. Nice. Can goggles go in any of these slots? Yeah, okay. The goggles are going to overlap our, our uh, respirator. So we're going to have to remember that. What? Is this is this going a little funky on me? Oh, it didn't turn into a it didn't turn into a boiler, did it? I might have to replace all these. All right, not that ideal, but I think that top layer was a little weird. try again definitely create schematic cannons might need a little bit of work but for the most part it did its job it's not awful some minor things, very minor. Why is it not being able to take water? You can always bucket water in. That's how you start the thing. What is even happening on this earth? Am I going to have to hand crank this? How much flight time do I have? 55 seconds. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's all day. I don't know why it's not letting me bucketing in, but that's okay. I guess we could hand crank it, maybe, if it'll let us. You know what? I'm just going to get another orb. Do I? Oh, yeah, yeah. You just got to hook it up to, I put mine here, you use rotational force and I use the vertical gearbox and just put it on the bottom of it right here. But yeah, a hand crank will work too, but it, it takes, it takes quite a while. 15 seconds, 15. All right, let's see if we can turn this thing. Ooh, uh, maybe right here. No, that's too much for the hand crank. Hmm. I might have to put rotational energy in here. I'm not understanding why I can't place a bucket like I normally do. Oh, my flight's gone. Well, it's 1 a.m., so I'm going to call the stream. I might stay on the server for a minute, though. Try to work on figuring out a way to get water in here. I might have to create a pump or something. But I've been going for a, quite a while. It might be a good time to end it. I might even leave it, leave it as it is until next stream or next time I play. I don't know. But basically, all we need to do at this point is get water in here and then throw piece of fuel right in here and that'll kick on the reactor and that'll get everything rolling and start generating power so anyways 
thanks for stopping by and hanging out in the stream, everybody that came in and, and hung out with us. And those of you, of course, who were watching afterwards, uh, leave, make sure to leave a like. Definitely helps big time. Thanks to everybody who helped out today, too. This was big. Getting that track out there was big. All that kelp. We wouldn't have even been able to do this without the kelp. Or the or the the tracks. I got I got reasons. And any anyways.